Let's get this dog and pony show started. Are we live? I think we're live. Let's get some music. Oh yeah, a little Tacosa in the background. What up, people? How you doing? Welcome to Elite Dangus. How was your uh, uh, week off last week? We, of course, the last time I streamed, it was uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. That was two weeks ago. And uh, last week, I ended up getting myself wrangled into a 48-hour film festival. So, wasn't uh, wasn't around to do the regular Elite Dangus shenanigans. Yes, yes. But uh, we're back here today. And today, um, well, you know, everyone seems to be quitting Elite Dangus. So, I figured, well, let's jump on the bandwagon. Let's... Let's quit Elite Dingus. Let's see how many times we can quit Elite Dingus in the stream. I know, I guarantee you, that by the end of this screen, the stream, the scream, <laughs> by the end of this scream, I will quit the game. Uh, I've probably quit, I would say, the number of times I quit the game is probably somewhere in the thousands. Uh, usually you have to quit the game uh, to return to real life at some point. And I've probably, I've been playing for like five years. Uh, that's all not been one long session, so I've, I've, I've experienced quitter, and uh, today we will be definitely quitting, uh, as usual, um, and then you can join us next week for further quitting, um, but um, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll quit multiple times, we'll see, um, but you can see here my beautiful, beautiful career, we are in uh, Jameson Memorial in Shinrata, and look at that sense of scale, it's such a tiny little racing ship, like, like look at that little tiny person that fits in the cockpit, let's kill it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I love the headbanging. Look at this cool skin I bought with our, my arcs. With my arcs. My space bucks. It is, of course, one of the racing skins. Let me get a better view from the camera mode. Isn't that sweet? Go Speed Racer, right? Like, that is a sweet, sweet paint job. I do love the racing skins. Let's go a little faster and get a nice view of the... Of the, bo of the booty. The ship's booty. It does say racing on it. I mean, I didn't buy it for racing. I just bought it to look cool. But the stripes do make it go faster, so I've been told. I do like also how this is kind of lopsided. You have the red on the one side, but not on the other. Welcome to Skin Reviews. Whee! I do love how the camera can get so close to the ship now. Look at this beautiful little ding dingy dangus. I do feel like I'm going to hit my head on here. Let's see if I am actually... Like, the, what's the clearance here? What is the clearance? It's like probably like an inch. Let's see here. Did I pass through the ship? No. It's like it was designed. Uh, it's like people were designed to be X tall, and everyone is the same height. There is no short or tall people in Elite. Why? Because people had to be designed to accommodate um, the ships so that they would not hit their heads. That's an interesting fun fact. Anyway, <laughs> let's get on here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I know. I finally stream after about eight months. Uh, two weeks can feel like eight months, especially in quarantine. Um, but you know what? Actually, you know what? I don't, we're going to do all these missions. I, I downloaded... Or what? <laughs> uploaded. Downloaded. I downloaded all these missions that are illegal and are going to get me in a lot of trouble. I don't know. It's probably you know. Screw this. Let's just let's just let's just quit. There we go. We've done it. We've quit Elite. We're never playing Elite uh, ever again. Oh look, there's a quote from Braben. Yes. Instead of playing Elite, we're just going to look at a quote of Braben for the rest of the time. This is a real quote, by the way. People can't resist shooting things, which isn't that far from real life. <laughs> Braven, do you do you have a deep dark fantasy you want to talk about? So that's one quit. We've already quit Elite once today, but you know what? I feel I feel like uh, that was premature. Let's 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 get another shot. Let's get back in there. Let's do the Elite thing. Here we go. Yay! We're back. <laughs> You, you bet your ass I'm going to pull that gimmick a couple times. <laughs> Let me get to see this lovely loading screen. And look at all my arcs. I have 16,000 arcs. Um, now, I'm finding, actually, funny enough, um, a lot of these uh, streams, by the end of it, I will have nearly hit my weekly cap. The weekly cap is pretty much one session. Brabnan? Brabnan? Blaze Lord Brabnan. All hail the Brobnin, the creator of space and time, and 
grind. Thank you for the grind, sweet Lord Robin. Without the grind, how would we know? How would we know our place in the universe? All right, um, so he wants to be in the squadron? No, team. What happened to wings? Did they just become not trendy? You know what is trendy, though? Quitting. Which is what we're doing today. We're quitting Elite Dangerous over and over again. Forever and ever. <laughs> well, let's get on with this. Let's start doing some... We're going to quit playing Elite Dangus. We're going to start taking it seriously. So maybe we'll start off in the Salati system. Salati, Salati, Salati. It's like Space Pilates. Salatis. Do your space squats. We do have a mission here. Oh, we have two missions here. Well, we'll go to this mission first. I don't know what they are. I just took the missions based on... Essentially what the materials because I need I need power cells, baby. I need power cells, I need ionized gas. Yeah, wings became teams, but but what's the deal with that? I don't know how I feel about that. Wings and teams. Teams and wings. I like wings. I think it's like more, you know, spacey. But I guess that doesn't apply you can't be like an on foot wing. So maybe it's like squad. Your wing becomes a squad. Squad wing. Squad wing. That's what it should be. I love this career. Look at that cockpit. What a beautiful cockpit. Now this jerk of a planet is blocking my way. So we're going to have to go around. Which is fine. So let's see. What, what are the Salati missions? Well, I guess um, we'll get to the system. It'll highlight. Or something. Or it should highlight. I don't know if it will. If it doesn't, I'm going to quit. I swear I am going to quit. I'll just log back in again. Now, how many times have you guys actually quit Elite Dangus? In all seriousness, I have kind of quit playing at least twice. Where I, like, I needed to take, like, an extended break. I never viewed it as, like, quitting. It was Squad Bunch. I like that. <laughs> this is the Squad Bunch. Join my Squad Bunch. Um, but, like, okay, so the first time... And, and honestly, it's funny, because both times I quit Elite Dangus... Uh, pretty similar circumstances where I went to uh, Sagittarius and then after the trip back you're just like burnt out on exploration you don't really want to jump in and jump around you know after eight eight hour jump sessions to get here and here and back from Colonia um, and I would I would stop playing for like a number of months right and I, I call that technically quitting the, the old quit and refresh right there's been periods of times where you know I think it's good to take a break but um, it's even better to take a forever break. We'll take several forever breaks today. Uh, okay, so let's see here. We have, is this Salati? No, that's 10A. And this one is 9B. Okay, so we'll share this mission with the old, with the old, with the old squad brunch. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. Oh, it looks like interdiction uh, markers are back. They have fixed that. For a while there, uh, you could not see these escape vectors. They were invisible to the mind and soul. Oh wait, actually no, it's still broken. You can see the escape vector, you just can't see your progress bar. So no, they didn't fix that. Damn you, Frontier. I quit! That's it! That's it! I quit! I quit! No. <laughs> just kidding. But uh, <clears throat> if you have been following the community news, uh, Drew Wagar is currently the latest to join the bandwagon and uh, say 07 to Elite Dangus. He'll be back. You know, they always come back. But many, many commanders, you know, for, for a couple months it seems, especially around <laughs> the release of Odyssey, people are just like fed up with space legs and, you know, going to Star Citizen or No Man's Sky or just, you know, quitting, quitting their computer and reading books or something. And hey, man, it's, uh, I, again, I, you know, it's, uh, it's good to take breaks, right? It's good to get away from it, you know? But, uh, they always come back. It's just how it works. You need a Braben break. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a Braben break. It's true, though. I get, I get it. I get the, um... The frustrations that uh, people have with uh, the Odyssey launch—I think overall it was pretty much a dud. One of them, one of them foundational updates that it's like, okay, well, 
Yeah, I guess CQC was a foundational update. And Horizons was a foundational update. Yeah, Horizons did okay. But uh, fleet carriers. We don't like the fleet carriers. Turn to the Swedish chef there. You got hit. Hit by who? Who hit you? What happened? You got hit by uh, a door? Did you get hit by the mail slot? I know the mail slot's kind of a brutally violent person. <laughs> entity. Grind break is important. And you know what? This, this is the thing. It's like, I haven't done serious grinding in a long time, and I know I need to do it, because I look at my bank account, and I get depressed. Because I'm like, I couldn't buy an anaconda with the amount of money in my bank. <laughs> and, and, like, give it decent equipment. But, you know, uh, you don't have to grind. You can still have fun. I mean, if I really needed money, I could sell my beluga, I could sell one of my T9s, I could sell... You know, all the, all the fancy modules that are sitting in storage, but I don't want to, because I'm an equipment hoarder. And they raised module storage limits and bookmark limits, so now I can hoard even more. You got hit in Shinrata. Oh, no! Did you get, like... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. One bar of health. Is someone interdicting you? Oh, no! Oh, this is, this is, like, terrifying to watch. One bar of health. I, I, don't even, I can't even imagine what's happening right now. Are you being interdicted and played with by a, a ganker, a griefer? Do they have you at 10% health? Or have you just been slamming against the mill slot this entire time? Either is cool. If you need help, let me know. Come, come help you. In my small ship. In my small racing ship. You might do some mining next week to go so. Well, that's not, uh, that is not a bad idea. If you're looking to make money, that is literally like the, the top money-making, low-risk thing to do. I might do some mining myself, because I, I just... Oh, wait, hold on. Target is fleeing. What does that mean? What does that mean, Target is fleeing? Oh, you escaped! Nice! Nice! See, at the end of the day, uh, not all gankers are able to uh, actually kill you. Um, so I'm wondering, is my target fleeing? What does that mean? Because I think we have to do some assassination here. Top up the carrier, need a break from settlements. Oh, right, I forgot, I don't have night vision. Damn it. Um, where am I going? Straight ahead. Whoa, frame rates. Whoa, still not fixed. Oh, you're driving your bounty hunting python. Very nice. So is the target fleeing in this thing? Do we have to, like, stop them from getting on board a taxi? I've actually never seen an NPC, like, enter a ship. Yeah, this is a hauler. That's not a taxi. Hello, hauler. Can I stand up your landing gear? So, where is this target fleeing to if they are so fleeing? And then, where do we go here? Transactions. Follow Adelaide Schmidt and elim eliminate them. If the target survives your attack, they will flee. But are they fleeing? Where do we say if they are fleeing? I do not see anything here that eliminates, that indicates that they're uh, fleeing. Hello, are you my target? What's your name? Alan Lightcomb. You don't really look like an Alan. Oh, Elaine. Sorry, ma'am. Nice helmet. Alright, let's see if we can... Like, okay, I guess the target... What's their name? What's their name? The target is Adelaide Schmidt. We need to remember that for future reference. And I guess the, they must be here. So let's go to... Uh, let's find a computer. Oh! Bye! 
We'll find a computer and we will uh, see if they are still here. I hope this isn't a case where we now have to track them down in space because I do not have an interdictor. Maybe one of maybe one of you wingmates do, or sorry, um, squad bunches. Oops, ow, 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 don't. You jump so high you smack on the wall. Yeah, usually there's a nice trusty Shibata Mineralogical. Shibata. What's a Shibata? Why do I have that name in my head? All right, Adelaide. I do not see an Adelaide. Uh-oh. So yeah, I guess they already fled? But to where? Is this just glitched? Okay, let's head back to our ship. You'll know okay, so hold on. Uh, check your messages, you'll have to go to another location. Oh. Oh, I see. So maybe I have to be in my ship to get this message? Yeah, my stream is like a... Well, I think it's more like a 30 second delay, to be honest. Um, it's the default one on YouTube, I can't reduce it. I think Twitch is a little bit better with that, but... You'll live and learn. You just learn to live with the delay. It means uh, I get instant gratification. You have to wait. You have to have patience. Don't worry. What will happen will happen. Oh, see now I can't now I can't fit under here. Yeah, I got my head stuck there. Let's see. Maybe it's that extra uh, padding from the suit. Hold on. What's going on? Hold on. Ew. Free cam. Want to see this head meets courier? Yep, look at that. We are stuck, ladies and gentlemen. We have reached the height limit. <laughs> Alright, back in the ship. Bored. I am living in the future. You thought, Dark Heavy, you thought the target fleeing was a feature with the next update? Well, maybe that feature is here. So. Fleeing from the settlement, the attempt has been halted, but I couldn't... Wait, the attempt has been halted. I've sent you the location now. So... Is it not on the planet where I am? Oh! She has moved to a different planet. Okay. That's interesting. And that's at war. So I guess we have to go there and there'll be like signal source? Okay, well, she ain't on this planet. We got a Tukosa here. What are you flying? Why can't I select you? Are you stealthy? Oh, you're flying on Viper Mark III. Oh, that's fast. We are both in fast ships. We should have a race through the canyons. Oh, I gotta add you again. Uh, invite your team. If you do want to be on the team, we have uh, one more slot available. Come and open. Uh, send me a, a message or something in the in the chats. I'm bad at looking at chats though, so forgive me if I uh, don't see it. All right, uh, we have to go to Salati Nine. No, no, no. we don't want to go to Salati Ten yet. That's a different mission. Or 6A. Never mind. Wait, what? Wasn't it 9? Hold on. Salati 9B. And then when I go in here... Oh wait, that's where I am. I'm an idiot. Okay. 9B. 9B... Salati. Salati 9B. It's lovely because it rhymes. Uh, you go there, there'll be a mission signal source to track them down. Okay, lovely. Well, hopefully they are on the ground and I can exit and shoot them with my pew pews. I do have, um... Your hole is at six? Oh my god. Welcome to the welcome to the six club. I've gotten my hull down to zero percent a few times. Uh, and that that's truly where uh, uh, your heart's pounded. Six, though, there's no real difference between zero and six. Your short heart's still going to be pounding. It is great, though, to escape a griefer uh, in that fashion. I do love it. Uh, so I do have a beam laser that is turreted for some reason. 
And uh, a couple seeker missiles. And uh, so, I mean, I could in theory take down a ship, but if they had like prismatic shields, it's just gonna take like an hour to get their shields down. But that's where uh, my squad, squad, what was it? Squad bunch? My squad bunch can help. <laughs> Or I could just quit, you know? I could just quit Elite Dangerous and never play again. And only take things seriously from henceforth. Because the... You think this is a game? It's a rocket viper for killing settlements. Okay, that's cool. So you guys all got, like, dumb fires and just, like... Just fly around super, super fast and, uh... Pelt them on the ground with rockets. The person who attacked me is called Metaforce, flying a vulture. Okay, well, keep an eye out for Metaforce. They are a antagonist. They must be eliminated. Maybe we can hunt them down. Make him quit. How about that? We could all just quit if anything we don't like happens. Absolutely. I think that's the, that's the beauty of the fact that, you know, this is what separates real life from uh, elite commander life, is that... If you're doing a mission and it pisses you off, you can just quit. In, in real life, um, you can't really do that. <laughs> Quitting is part of the process. It's important to quit Elite. I quit Elite every time I play it. I quit at some point. <clears throat> and if we didn't, then we would be stuck in our chairs all day. We would get no exercise and our space legs would get, you know, kind of clammy. Right? You, you want to give your space legs a little bit of work to do. I mean, I do love the, the friggin' like giant winter boots that I'm wearing. <laughs> These are the worst boots ever. They do look like giant snow boots. It's very Canadian. We are ready for the winter. The winter of space. Space winter. Winters. Uh, watching now on the Roku. I'm on a 70 inch TV? Oh my god. Okay. Does it make it? Does it make you nauseous when I do this? If I spin and spin and spin? <laughs> 70 inches? That's huge. That's cool. That the, the world now is like interconnected. You can put like your TV on your computer and your computer on your TV. You can put your phone on your TV on your computer. You can put your TV on your phone. You can put your TV in your phone. But uh, I still got a CRT TV that has a built-in VHS. So I don't know. They, they don't have the, a good adapter with that converts like USB into like the red and the yellow cables. Maybe those do exist. I could probably try. That would be interesting to try. Try playing Elite on a TV with a built-in VHS. See how that works. Uh, you think your network is acting up. You were unable to pop a shield cell in sync. So, uh -oh. that's kind of important. Maybe they were using. Um, there are weapons that like disable random systems. That could be what happened to you. Could it could be engineering? There's no, it's hard to tell sometimes the difference between engineering and just like glitches. <laughs> yeah, I watch. I still have a bunch of VHS movies. Like uh, I love to watch VHS. Pop in the tape. Realize you have to rewind it because the last time you watched it you didn't rewind. Then when it finishes rewinding, you watch a whole bunch of like 80s trailers. I got like the whole Indian. Well, the first three Indiana Jones on uh, VHS. I got like a couple Bond movies. A lot of sci-fi movies. I was watching uh, Stargate on VHS the other day. It's a fun movie. Like it, it, the experience is better when watching on VHS. It takes you back. puts you in the puts you in the feel. Uh, space station con concourses are reminiscent of ski lodges, perhaps. Everybody wearing snow boots. Yeah, there you go. We're all just uh, snow buddies. Or is that what they call them? I guess no. Snow buddies are like old people that live in Canada but then go to Florida for half the half the year. Okay, so where is thingy? Do I have to now scan planet? Because I don't have... Do I have a... Th whoa, whoa. Okay, tutorial. Um, why did it make me watch tutorial again? Do I have to now... Because um, I don't think I have a thingy. Uh, hold on, how do I get out of this? I don't think I have a... Um, planetary and oh wait I don't need it it's just right there in front of my face encrypted signal threat 2 okay this is where our target is now of course we don't have dumb fires I believe they are seeker missiles yeah so unfortunately we cannot rain death from above uh, but that's what Tokoso does that's what Tokoso can do he can be our designated 
uh, air to ground missile launcher. Uh, used to have VHS with a remote and a cable attached to it. Yeah, I don't have a remote control for the TV. I had one, but I think it, it like broke. Like even a change of batteries was not helping it. Ooh boy. Okay, so this is on the night side. This is going to be a night attack. So I guess what we have to do is get really quickly out of the ship, and then we gotta chase this guy down and shoot him until they're dead, and then run away, and then quit. Because that's what you gotta do. It's quitting time. We do have our Dominator suits already equipped. Lovely. Right tools for the job. I do love the, like, sort of uh, very Star Warsian helmet. Alright, coming down on this encrypted signal. Part 2. Doesn't seem too bad. How do you guys come into the planet? Do you do it upside down? It doesn't really matter. Sometimes I like to do it upside down. Let's do an upside down landing. Not 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 landing, but approach. You never had VHS. You're missing out. You don't know the pleasure of having to rewind a tape. Alright, so we're 10 kilometers away. Now we've got to be super quiet because we don't want to scare our target away. I want them to see us coming. Alternatively, I wonder if we could just like scrape along the ground and just like, what is our target going to be in? Are they, if they're on the ground, can I just, like, ram them with my spaceship? A little boop action? Kind of trying to see what's up ahead. I, it looks like a ship. Is that a ship? Yeah, that is a ship. Okay, well, let's land. Oops, chafies. Accidental chafies. Ah, oh, let me share the mission, yes, of course. So where is our target? Maybe you have to disembark for them to appear? Like, are they hiding in that ship right now? We're gonna go shields up right away. Play it safe. Hold on. Someone's shooting at me. Is that my target by chance? Hello? Target person, hello? I don't see anyone. Am I just supposed to blow up their ship? Loot! I will take the loot. Thank you very much. That is a Tokoso. Hello, target, are you hiding on this eagle? I'm trying to figure out, like, what am I supposed to do? Did I do something wrong? I wonder, does this eagle have panels I can remove on it? Can I scavenge this eagle? Oh, it does have scavenge bits. Scavenger. But seriously, is there not supposed to be a dude here? I mean, there is a dude. There's two dudes. But, like, a killable dude. Wait, 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 hold on. I think I saw something there. Nope, that's a landing gear. Um, was I too late? Was I too early? Is it instancing? Is it Maybelline? Okay. Let me see here. Well, let's just change our suit to the um, cutter one. Dumpster shrimp. EDO should have super power play. VHS versus Betamax factions. I, w I think I, I always love... Um, retro elements in sci-fi like I would love to see um, like for example uh, you know they're on the ship and it's like oh we got to insert this data and it's literally a VHS and they just put it into a computer and then like the green lines look like a virtual boy 
happen. Okay, so there's some sweet loot in here. We'll take the sweet loot. At least we get something out of this. We're stripping the ship. We're taking everything. We're gonna bring it to a pawn shop later. Come on, power regulator. I don't think that's an active regulator, unfortunately. So, I don't know, like, uh, are we supposed to shoot this ship and blow it up? Does it blow up? I don't think those are the types of ships that blow up. I think it's just, like, abandoned. Huh. So, okay, well, let's just see on the comms. Target fleeing. Salati 9B, that's where we are. Is it is it worth trying to reinstance? <laughs> Dude is like, I'm not sweet. It's I know I know your name is pronounced uh loot. And that loot is also pronounced loot, but whoa, 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 whoa. What is it that we cannot transfer? Oh god, I hate this stupid limit. Okay, I'm gonna drop this for Tokoso then. Where are you, Tokoso? Where you go? See, that is on. The eagle's on fire, like, they shouldn't have gone for. Oh. Well, now I can't drop the loot for you. That's okay. Usually he's right there. Maybe I've already killed him. Well, you'd think I would win the mission if I already killed him. I think maybe I need to try reinstancing. Okay. Well, hold on for inventory management. Let's see. What do we actually need? We can take one thing. Um, a microelectrode? Or no. Let's take an optical fiber. And do we have any goods? Degraded power regulators, might as well. And uh, any data? Data is always nice. I haven't hit my data limit nearly. Okay, whatever. Now you just have to wait for this emergency board. Maybe I killed him with the crash. That is possible, Biggie, but I don't think so because then it would say like you have completed the mission, right? Wrong, it's loot, not loot. <laughs> okay, let's try maybe reinstancing. So we'll go back to Super Cruise. Uh, landing gear, that's right. Like, why knows? Wait, wait, Tokoso, do you leave the mission? Or leave the uh, group? Oh, he's at the main menu. Or maybe he's, uh, he, maybe he quit. Oh, he quit! There you go! So that's how many, how many people have quit? Tom's quit, I've quit. Everyone needs to quit Elite Dingus today. And then, uh, when you're ready, just come back. Okay, so yeah, that's still highlighted. This might be a glitch. Okay, we're just gonna do a little swoopy de doop. And oops. <laughs> Hit the red zone. Find ourselves way too far up ahead. Uh. Oh, that's Minari, but no, I need the, uh, this thing. Alright, 21 kilometers, that's fine. My courier will do that in no time. Just make sure not to hit the ground. Alright, so maybe this time, someone will spawn. I'm seeing your team signal, but, uh... No other threats have been detected. I would really like to plow into the ground and just like <laughs> run this guy over. If it doesn't let me do that, I will quit. I swear. Uh, okay, is it gonna be the same eagle? Or maybe this is sort of like the same setting, but maybe things will be different this time. Hello? 
Is there anybody out here? Yeah, I cannot lock onto that and fire missiles. No, I don't see anyone. Or Wait, what the hell? Oh, I thought that was an unknown probe and it was just one of my little blinky lights. So I have the alien, uh, alien probe lights. So do I just, like, wait here? Hold on, there's another blip on the radar. It's over here. There is something in the distance. Diamondback. Andrei Gusarov. Maybe this guy's coming in to drop the target? What are you doing here? Hello, sir. Uh, quick inspection. Yeah, your engines look fine. What's he got deployed there? Like, his hard points are out. And I see, like, there's something under his ship that looks very large and intimidating. Is that, like, a cannon? He is clean, but that, that makes me more suspicious. Wait, look down and they're running around with their flashlight. Oh, shit. Did I miss him? Because, yeah, this is the night side of the planet. We should see flashlights, right? And ground reset? Do I have a kill warrant scanner? No, 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 no. I am... I have no... I have recon limpets, but I don't have limpets. I can manufacture limpets, but... I don't know why I have a recon limpet thing. I can't remember what I was doing with this courier that needed those. Well, I think this mission is glitched. So you know what? I quit. <laughs> That's it! You know what, Braven? I know you want to you want to go shoot people, but um, I just want to shoot people in this game, and uh, and it won't let me. <laughs> All right, fine. We're loading it back up. But that's two. I've rage quit twice already. All right, fine. Let's get back at it. Maybe this will help the mission. Maybe you need to quit. Maybe quitting is part of the process. I'll have to reform the wing. <laughs> this is gonna be. This is going to be one of those streams. People can't resist shooting things, which isn't that far from real life. You sick, deplorable bastard, you. Braben. Brabden. I will find you, and I will have you tell me the secrets of the universe one day. Alright. The rage is subsiding. I feel, I feel good again. I should have just done exploration. Let's reform the wing. Where'd you go, dude? Wait, what the hell? What was that? Is someone shooting at me? Um, I seem to be stuck. I swear someone... There was explosions. Um, did you quit the game too? Lovely, lovely. We're all quitting Elite today. Multiple times. As many times as possible. Or is that is that Tokoso shooting missiles? Oh, that's what it is. Okay, now that makes sense. I was like, what is causing those explosions? So yeah, I don't know. This mission must be glitched out then. Come out! Come out of the eagle and let me kill you! What is that? It kind of looks like a person. Hold on. Is that my target? Are they just like face down? Is this like that episode of Star Trek where people like merged into the damn ship? Uh, can we land? 
Oh wait, landing gear up. Oops. I meant to do the other way around. Let's see what the hell that is in the ground. Any chance you can cut that eagle? Oh, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got too many materials. Holy shit. That is the person. They must have been here for a long time. Only their ass is sticking out of the ground. Um, let us scan them. Maybe this is a clue. Let's scan that ass. No bounty detected. I will take their identity. And maybe that, maybe the person that we're supposed to get is like, Oh, my pilot's back. I can see his profile coming towards the ship. I'll come out and greet him. Yes, come on out. Come out of this eagle. Everything is safe out here. Those were just, those were blanks. Um, whoa. That's some contemporary art right there. Whoa. Compact libraries. Anyone want some good reading? Yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess this mission is glitched. Might as well move on to the next one, I think. We can try coming back to this one. Maybe do the other one first. Maybe that will fix it. Or maybe it's just like permanently broken. R.I.P. Indigo Barber. You will be remembered, sir. Okay, well, there is another mission to do in this system, so let's head over to Salati 10, see if we have better luck there. I believe it is at a facility, so... A military outpost, no less. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It sounds dangerous. Alright, let's take off your hoser. Man, that is a sweet-looking viper. I love the ship kit on that. It's got the pirate ship kit. The why do not go fast? Oh, landing gear. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm Jefferson Hoover now. What? All right. Um, there are two eagles on your screen. Oh wow! So like, the eagle duplicated itself. Yeah, something weird is going on here, so we'll try another mission. We can always come back to Salati at the end. Or we can just quit. I, I mean, seriously. Um, and go play No Man's Sky or Star Citizen. Because um, those are exactly the same game. Provide exactly the same experience as Elite. There's literally no difference between them. They're just objectively better. <laughs> I'm being a little sarcastic about that one. I do, I do enjoy No Man's Sky and... I've like dabbled in Star Citizen, but I never uh, have not since found enjoyment in it. Mainly because um, it's not it, it doesn't work well. But it's definitely like Star Citizen. I go in and I'm like, wow, this is impressive. Like, I'm certainly like wowed by the ambition and the scale. But and then No Man's Sky, I'm like, wow, they've added so much that I don't know how to fucking play this game anymore. There's so many things to do that I'm confused. Um, like, the learning curve has gone insane. Like, even for base building, I don't have half the materials that you need unlocked to, to you know, I have to go unlock the materials, or do I go on this quest, or do I just explore? Like, there's almost too many things to do in No Man's Sky. Um, and at least to me, it's still the perfect, perfect mix. It's too bad I'm quitting. <laughs> but at least, I think, does strike that nice balance between the Star Citizen level of ambition... <clears throat> and the No Man's Sky sort of variety and, 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 you know, different things that you can do. And maybe they'll add base building one day to Elite and uh, it'll become just as convoluted as as No Man's Sky. Because, I mean, honestly, kind of like, maybe it's it's not, it, maybe like Star Citizen runs twice as bad but looks twice as good. But then Odyssey came out and kind of like, yeah, like now, now it kind of runs weird and looks, so, looks pretty good, but... You know, if you play Star Citizen, it's like, wow, there are, like, living, breathing cities with NPCs walking around acting like idiots. Hold on, let me just retarget my thingy that we're going to here. Yeah, apparently I'm also wanted in this system. I don't know what I did to piss these guys off already. 
But it must have been something Heinous. Heinous. Aeneas. Is that, how do you say it? Heinous or Aeneas? I, I feel like I've gone through... I feel like I ask this question every time I say the word Aeneas. Heinous. Heinous? Heinous. I think it's supposed to be Heinous. Like, uh, Harold Anus. Heinous. Uh, ED is like European motorcycle. Fast, sophisticated, but can't do much. Well, unless you drive on the Autobahn. With the Autobahn, you can go as fast as you want. Uh, no Man's Sky is like a candy truck. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like that metaphor. It's like the ice cream man that comes down the road. You're all excited, and then, then you eat all the ice cream, and then you feel sick after. Because <laughs> you feel like you're on an LSD trip. Star Citizen? Yeah, what would that be like? Uh... It's like that um, beautiful sports car that sits in a rich guy's garage for 362 days of the year under a under a protective cover. <laughs> it looks beautiful, but you really can't do anything with it, and, and the insurance is really hard to uh, justify. Like a Chinese tech bro, tech bros high tech project car. Sure, yeah, as long as it's like yeah, again like. You have to basically keep it in the garage most of the time. It's not really... I don't know. I'm, I was thinking about giving Star Citizen a little bit of a chance, maybe doing a stream of, of, of that, because um, it's been a while since I played it. But the last time I played it, I'm like, this is cool to look at, but I feel like I'm just spoiling a better experience a couple, that I could have a couple years later. Like, the run rate on it was not great. There wasn't much to do. It's, oh, wow, this is all this cool stuff to see, but, like, I can't do anything. And the little things that I could do at the time they're going to be reset when they do the next update. So, like, I kind of wanted to wait until it was like, you know, we're going to maintain, like, whatever progress you make, you know, like, for the game to be out, you know, <laughs> to be a game, as opposed to, like, a very, very nice tech demo. And I'm not, like, I'm not anti um, Star Citizen. I want to see Star Citizen continue. I want No Man's Sky to continue and improve. I want Elite to improve as well. Um, it's good to have a variety of games. Right now, I think between the three, Elite is the most well-rounded and most interesting to play and the one that I constantly want to come back to. Star Citizen, I'm like, I, I don't want to play it yet. I just don't want to spoil the experience before it's an experience, like it's optimized, right? Because the little things I have seen location-wise, loving the settings in Star Citizen. Um, beautiful planets. And the last time I played No Man's Sky was maybe a month ago. And I remember popping in, and I landed on this weird planet, and I was just walking along, and a giant sandworm jumped out of the ground, scared the piss out of me. I was like, what? They put sandworms, the, the giant sandworms, jumping in and out of the ground. It was terrifying. It was like, dude. Um, and that was amazing. Uh, but then I'm like, okay, what do I want to do? I want to build a, a house. Okay, let me go shoot some trees. And then it just became that cycle of like get materials backpacks full sort your backpack go get more materials build a wall run out of materials to build the wall go get more materials backpack sorting need to get storage bins got to power the storage bins okay to get the power i have to unlock the blueprints to get the blueprints i have to find the tech modules which are buried under the ground i need to follow the scanning signals and then ah okay sorry hold on introduction anyway you get the point um it's like, whereas Elite is like, you know, a lot of like, very specific grind and whatever. It's like, No Man's Sky's got the same problem now. Um, if you're trying to get into like, the base building and upgrading yourself. I mean, if you just go around and look at stuff and interact with planets, you don't need to worry about the grind. But if you're trying to build yourself a lovely mountaintop palace, well, you know, if you want those glass walls, you need frost crystals, which means you gotta find this, which means you gotta go here, which means you gotta do that. That's just one ingredient. <clears throat> and so I don't know, like that's what puts me off like game development in general these days is these like you know, like things where it's like the game is just about fetching things to do things, and it's like I guess that's what games have always been about. You know, you need the red key to open the red door, just now you need like 16 red keys and four blue keys and five green keys to make a purple key you know what i mean it's just like like you know we're not doing anything new here guys it's just the same shit it's just more of it it just makes me have to play longer and my time has grown shorter you know like if i could just like sit at home and like play video games all day all good but 
sometimes I feel like, you know, their, their attempts to, like, add so many more layers, like, it just, like, makes it impossibly long to do anything. Now, here we have a nice crevasse. That could be a fun little canyon to race through. Let's do the mission first, and then if we're still alive, maybe we can do a little canyon sprint. And if that doesn't work, we can always quit. <laughs> oh, what is the mission here, by the way? The mission is going to come to me. It is... Um, oh, we gotta kill everyone. Lovely! Nice and simple. Uh, why there's a wave thing before my name and not using voice chat? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna mute you and that will not take that away. I'm not sure. It does, it does have a wavy thing for you, but not for Togoso. Alright, so this looks like an ice world, by the way. Kinda. It is very snowy. I don't need night. Uh, night. I was gonna call it night cruise. Night assist. Eliminate the slotty jet drug members. So we just gotta kill everyone here. That's nice and simple, just the way I like it. Just shoot to kill. Now, of course, we don't want to mess with those turrets. So we'll land a little bit further back. We will, of course, want to get back into our fun time happy suit for maximum death and destruction. I used the S-bomb. What did I say? What, what's the S-bomb? I do like this. It's a nice snowy planet. Look at me leaving snow prints in the shoe. In... I wish you could get down on the ground and make a, a, a snow angel. Go for it, Tacosa. Rain hell from above. Except I can't protect you from the uh, uh, missile turrets. And I think I'm parked really far away. I probably could have gone a little bit closer. Especially since the... The one thing that I do like about No Man's Sky that they need to put in Elite is the um, jump jet boost. Where you can kind of like hit your melee button and then boost yourself forward very quickly. I would like to see that. Because sometimes this whole like... Running, 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 get tired. Running, 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 get tired. You do actually run faster when you put your gun away, by the way. Helpful hint. Ooh, we got a Goliath here. I like this rock. You have proper camo. Are you wearing, like, an arctic suit? Now, of course, they did talk about new SRVs. Of course, you cannot... There, there, there will be a two-person SRV. Let's just check out. Don't run me over. Oh, yeah, you got the, like... Yeah, you got good camo. You got urban... Urban... Snow camo. All right. Let's kill some people. Now, I don't like the look of that Goliath, but I don't think they're that bad, to be honest. I've never really been troubled by one too much. So, are these people going to be initially hostile to me? Let's just see. Let's just walk up. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like that. The Goliath, however, doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> Sharpshooter, <laughs> Um, hold on, let me just, hello sir, oop, shield up, oops, that was a grenade, didn't mean to shoot a, <laughs> he ran into it, you stupid idiot, oh, now we're gonna need a grenade, oh, now I wish I had a grenade, okay, they're all gonna come up these stairs, but we'll be ready for them. Okay, shields are offline. We're gonna hide. Let those shields come back. See, those Goliaths really are not much of an issue. They kind of just pelt you occasionally, but... Okay, I am... Okay, grenade, grenade. I think we got her. We're just gonna hide here, and... Oh no! Damn it! She got me. Uh, Sakath, so you're saying you backed Star Citizen for almost nine years ago and it's nowhere near finished. 
Sadly, it'll take another decade if they want to deliver everything promised. I mean, I do feel like their pace of development has increased in the last couple years. Like, they've kind of got the foundational elements there where now it is kind of a game. Uh, I think definitely there's probably another 10 years of development, but... Where are we going to redeploy? Okay, just up in space. That's lovely. That's cool. Um, yeah, like, I mean... It'll probably take another decade for them to get everything. Did we fail that? I got demoted. Yeah, we failed. We failed both of them. So Adelaide Smith got away, because she must have got away before we got there, and then I failed this mission. Wonderful. Well, we're off to a good start. You know what? You know what? No, I'm not going to do that right now. We'll quit later. Alright, well, I guess we failed all the Salati missions. <laughs> Let's go fail some other missions. Uh, how about Fong Wang here? We will head to the Fong Wang system. Uh, let's see, what are the missions in Fong Wang? I think it's just like... Yeah, uh, collect personal documents. That'll be so easy. Okay, we can do that. Impossible to fail, they said. That's what they said. <laughs> Luke's like, yes, F! Luke just literally like wants to see me bite the bullet. At least there's no rebuy when you die on foot, though. That's the one consolation, is I'm not losing too much money from that. Oh yeah, Takosa, we're, get, we're getting out of here. You gotta, gotta run, dude. Uh, I, I got killed. Unless you want you want if you want to get revenge kills, literally, I am okay with that. I am I approve. I approve of Romenge. Uh, yeah, they still lock basic server tech and servers shut down randomly. They have 93 systems. In Arc Map, they want their final game. 93 systems? What, they have one right now. I think they're working on their second one. Jeez. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of crazy. Even if they release 10 systems per year, which is highly unlikely, it'll take nine years. I mean, are they going to do total full crafted systems or like out of those like 93 systems some of them might just be like repeatable assets or uh you know there's one one outpost in this system like there could be stuff like that right um i don't know but i do know they're doing server meshing soon so it looks like they are working on still that like sort of the server side technology right which again it's like by the time they finish something, technology is advanced and they have to go back and be like, oh yeah, we can do this way better if we do it again. So you do kind of wonder, um, at a certain point, you know, is it better to just, like, start over? Right? Or just release what you have and finish what you have and then release a sequel? Or DLC or whatever? But, I mean, look, it's that's what I'm saying. is like, I, I, I like the, um, the idea of where Star Citizen wants to go. I like the ambition. But it's certainly nowhere near, um, what I would want to be playing right now. It's fun to muck around with, but I do find too, it's like by the time it's done, it'll be so deep, there'll be so many layers that the learning curve will be insane. But on the other hand, you could say, well, hmm, you could start playing with the demo today and, uh, you know, the learning get the learning curve over with, right? But then they're gonna change stuff. So I can't learn stuff and then unlearn it and learn it again. I'm not Luke Skywalker, I cannot unlearn what I have learned. You just realize you can't jump with Team Sig selected. What? Really? That's weird. I do not know. Well, again, it's like as we talk about Glitchy Star Citizen, like Odyssey really has layered on a lovely number of problems <laughs> that weren't there before. And then there are still a number of problems that have been there since the dawn of time, or the dawn of horizons at least. And you gotta wonder, um, you know, 100 people working on a game, I don't know how these projects are organized, but, it, you know, uh, how quickly can they fix them all? It would be nice to see um, Elite start throwing out, like, massive updates, like No Man's Sky, you know, just out of the blue, and by the way, like, hey, you know, here's new SRVs, here's Thargoids on foot combat, you know? And maybe that's in the plan, but I think they probably need to do the console thing first, because otherwise you got these two whole communities of console players that are being left out. Not that I mind, I'm a PC Master Race person, so I say, that's your that's your problem for going console, buddy. But at the same time, I recognize that, you know, console is basically a cheaper version of a supercomputer. 
and there are many advantages therein. So I would love to see uh, the console and the PC universe all connected, but I don't know what's, how complicated that is, but one day, at least get it, get Odyssey on consoles, then you can start releasing things that actually take advantage of Odyssey and don't leave people out. A more stable SRV, I agree. I would like to see that, like a tank SRV that just like, maybe isn't as fast, but is that like turns really well. And then has like more cargo capacity. And then I'd like to see like, a hover SRV that's like just a jetpack. I just want like like uh you know those little skimmer drones? Just something that you can attach your jetpack to and it just flies you around with unlimited jetpack. That would be cool. Alright, we're heading into the Simon Botanical Center and we are here only to fetch personal documents. It's a very low-key mission. This is not illegal. We should be okay. If we fail this, it'll be I think instant quit, like, and never come back. That will be the end of the stream. If we fail this mission, I'll rage quit. We've already quit Elite twice this stream. And we know at, uh, at some point in the future I will quit again. You have to. It's literally impossible. Because if you keep this thing on 24-7, you're just, like, wasting electricity. The old spin and glide. This looks like a very small settlement because I can barely see it and like not that far away. I can I'm within docking range. Oh, it's just weird popping. Okay, I'm like I can see the docking thing, but where are the buildings? This is a tiny settlement though. Which I like. I like uh I like the idea of these like smaller little outposts. Okay, it's actually a lot bigger on on closer inspection. Docking successful. Engines Docking successful. Um, yeah, we'll just we don't need uh, cutting tools or anything. We should be okay. So we have to go locker four in access way A. Now, am I wanted? I don't think so. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Stay away from people. Okay, so remember how I said there's no way to fail this mission? I take that back. <laughs> What's up, Ray Mobile? How you doing? Ooh, high Gs. High Gs here. What are the Gs? 1.35. Okay, that's a little bit more than Earth. Oh, hi there. I'm not stealing. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Don't look at me. I'm not standing close. I'm walking by you, you freaking jerk. These people are so sensitive. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to steal his identity. Herbert Richard, I am you. Might come in handy later. Now with these high G worlds, there is no real like jumping to get away. So I really want to avoid guards. Also, apparently the temperature is very hot here. So is it in the storage facility? Potentially. Locker four in access way A. Who's that? Oh, is that Minari? Yeah, it's, it's hello. Don't mind me. And again, uh, I'm also looking for loot for engineering purposes. Specifically, like. Hmm. I don't think I need that stuff. I need, like, ionized gas and titanium plating. Oh, I do need that. Is anyone around? No. Yoink! Now in my, oh, yeah, there's two of you in here. Uh, Visualistic polymer, no, we do not need. We need like graphene, we need um, titanium plating, all that good stuff. Oop, tungsten carbide, don't mind if I do. You saw nothing. 
Okay, I don't think our objective is in here. We're just gonna get up on the roof. And do a little scout. We're looking for a building that basically has a hallway. That's what we need. And that looks like the candidate. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the old hab power generator combo. Oh my god, I thought that guard is moving like I've never seen a guard move before! And it's just Commander Minari. Would you like to go in, sir? By all means. But we don't need to go in there. We need to go the other place. And we need to not be spotted by a guard on the process. We can just get through here. Hopefully there's no guard around this corner like that guy is. Oh my god. Just keep walking. Look perfectly normal. If they don't if you don't act suspicious, then no one will care. Oh, I probably didn't even need um, access, because it's probably right here. Locker four, that's the one. Alright, we got a little nine, seven, five, five. And we need the personal... Fetch the item. Okay, I'll just take them all. Are you freaking kidding? Is this glitch too? Fetch the item. They, uh, usually there's just one thing in there. Are you serious? So this mission is glitched. This Both missions that we have done are glitched. You know what? Put your weapon down. I don't appreciate this place. Come out. I have a. I want to talk to the manager here. I need to talk to customer service. Oh, we got a dot approaching. Jeremy Woods. You dead. You're all dead. Yeah, we're, we're killing everybody here. This is now my own personal massacre mission. He's got a thingy. What are those uh, shield-busting rifles? Speaking of shields... <laughs> is he going to my ship? What are you doing on my ship? Don't touch my ship. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. He's shooting my ship. How dare you? That's my own personal pro- Oh, my own ship's shields have betrayed me. That was my personal property. All right, who else wants to go? Uh-oh, we've got someone calling for reinforcements over there. We're gonna have to go take care of that. Uh-oh, I think they finished. We probably have reinforcements coming. You know what, that's fine. It's fine, because you know what? I want there to be reinforcements. Bring it on, the more the merrier. Because you know what? These glitched missions... They make me angry, and either my choices right now are either I quit, or I take up my anger on these little NPCs. Which one is more effort, really? Where you be? Yeah, you did. Um... I do wish I had it like less gravity here so I could jump on buildings. Can you go up here? Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, this is a nice little vantage. Let's see, we got a red dot over this way. You aren't gonna lose me. Hi Mercedes. I love how you're like you're a researcher, but you're out here like hunting me and I'm I'm like mad respect for you. Mad respect for your gusto. No, like, researcher or scientist in their right mind would do that. Okay, let's go murder some scientists over here. <laughs> Double seven murder hobo detected. Everything is glitched for me, so I'm gonna kill everyone. That's just how things happen. 
Let's see power loss. Hold on. There we go. Charger back up. Hello. I'm going to take your identity. Need that level 2 access so I can get into more rooms and kill more people. I will not rest until everyone is dead. Or dying. No, no, no. Not di no, because you have to kill them because if you don't, then they will get their revenge on you. Didn't you watch Kill Bill? Alright, so I just want to get the... I'm going to take your power cells. Oh, wait. You're even, you're even better. I'll take you. Claudio McPherson. My new identity. So what I'd really like to do is steal their power cell now. <laughs> because they, they glitched the mission, I'm going to get something out of this. I think the prize was a power regulator, so... I am not walking out of here without a power regulator. Let's see... Any graphene? Oh yeah, I will take graphene. Graphene, titanium plating, and uh, other sundries. Hello! Don't mind me. Anyone else in here? No? <coughs> Alright, let us start the decoupling. Hey, Ticoso! Micro hydraulics, electrical fuse. I think I do need these. I'm gonna have to, like, clear my inventory later. Oh, yeah, by the way, helpful hint while it's depowering. You can recharge your suit still from uh, these lovely things. Ooh, data, data, data. Union membership, evacuation protocols, and air quality reports. All very important data. We'll take it all. Now let's turn off scans. That way we don't have issues with doors. But you see, this is, this is what happens, Frontier. When your missions don't work, then I'm going to have to fucking kill everyone and take the power. You got to take the power back. Now, I do have to say, like, this is a pretty cool... Uh, I love the lighting in these these rooms, and especially when you are... Okay, when, when the light goes down. But just, like, I love the soft blue lighting. James Bond, 007. I did see the new Bond movie, by the way, if anyone hasn't seen No Time to Die. It's uh, certainly better than Spectre, but... Still doesn't beat Skyfall or um, Casino Royale. Could have been better. Could have been worse. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the next era of James Bond. I did like Daniel Craig, but I like him so much as an actor that I would like to actually see him. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Okay, hopefully. Don't. Okay, I'm like, thank God that wasn't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wrong button. <laughs> I accidentally shot a grenade. I thought that was you, Minari, for a second. I was like, oh no, I hope I didn't kill someone. I was... Nope. Oh, what's going on? 60 seconds till shutdown. Uh, you watched Shabuka's Halloween episode. Still good. Are you talking about the one from like a, a few years back? Because uh, yeah, he did, he did do a really good one. I did really like Shibuka's video. What was it called? What was the name of it? Put the link in the chat for Halloween vibes. And if you want a Dangus one to watch back, there's, there's, um, Bradford did like a Halloween episode and I think I did one that was like spookiest locations in Elite. The spookiest places you can visit. Probably update that now because there are some, I don't know, spooky settlements or settlements that spooky. I don't know. <laughs> Should I be standing here? Open up. Open up. I'm kicking it open. Kicking it, kicking it, kicking it. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is just the, the Indiana Jones scene. I should put something of like equivalent um, weight. Where'd it go? Did you take my power core? Alright, you can have it. Whatever. Can I place uh, G-Meds there? Yes, I can, apparently. <laughs> Why? 
<laughs> okay, hold on. Let's boot it back up. Let's boot it back up and see if... Will it take these G-Meds? Oh my god! It's taking them! This will be G-Med... G-Med powered... Um, G-Med powered facility. Will it shred? <laughs> um... Okay. Well, we'll just leave those G-Meds there. I think that's... that's nice. That's kind of funny. I didn't know that you could just put whatever there. I wonder what, what, if, what, if there are items that you could put in there that would that would explode or something, right? It's like putting a banana peel in a DeLorean. Exactly. It's like this car runs on garbage. What the heck are you doing out here, little buddy? I'm not waiting around for that crap. Okay, well, I guess. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did I say at the beginning of this? If I if this mission is too easy to fail, and if I failed it, what would I do? I got, apparently this is combat logging, so. No, I'll wait. No, I'll wait. I'll wait for the joke. Do, 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 do. That's how I feel. That's how I feel right now. Literally, Elite, every mission I'm doing is glitched. You've let me down. I'm gonna go play Star Citizen. I'm gonna go do it. I'm, I'm, I'm never coming, never coming back. It's over. It's over, Brabnan. You have have ruined uh, elites. Your space legs have have made me walk. Uh, I've walked all over me, and I uh, uh, I quit. Anyway, let's get back into the game. <laughs> this is three wage crits now. I've quit elite Dangus three times in what like an hour, hour and fifteen minutes, and I've already quit three times. All right, well, let's load it back up. Look what you've done to me, Brabadin. Papa Brabadin. Why you do this? Okay, back and open. We'll get the gang together again. It's so annoying that the wing, or the squad... What was the name of it? I can't remember now. Squad... Uh, squad Buds? I don't know. It's over until next week. Well, no, no, we'll, we'll keep going. Uh, okay, let's get... Uh, oh, yeah, it's in the different wheel this time. And I do it from here. Invite to team. Invite to team. I wonder, maybe, is, is the base back online now? Maybe it'll be there, who knows? Team invite failed. Oh, you guys are already... Can you invite me back to the team that I left when I rage quit? Entering pressurized environment. No, there's nothing here. Are the G-Meds still here? That's the important thing. Are there G-Meds in there? Yes! The G-Meds persist. I love it. That's cool. Uh, go down here to click yes. There we go back in the wing. Alright, well, let's go do the next mission and see if that's glitched. And I swear to God, if this is glitched, I will quit. And this time for good. I will never... Oh, 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 oh. Who's shooting my ship? Oh, it's, oh, it's just you. <laughs> you never know what it's like an SRV gone rogue or... Oh, right, 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 right. Hold on. So I do want the graphene. I will sacrifice, uh, let's see, we don't need a lot of circuit switches. So I will put the graphene, do you have carbon fighter? No. Take that, more circuit switches. This is the compelling gameplay that people came here to see, is inventory management. Uh, yeah, we'll just discard everything. Emergency board. Literally, like, emergency board, it makes you wait. It's like, hello, you have dialed 911. Please hold. If this is an emergency, please wait. Because it's not an emergency unless you, you're patient enough to wait, right? Uh, okay, so where are we going now? We are going to Nuentes. Or Nunets. Nunets. And where are we going in Nunets? We are going to... 
Oh no, this is gonna be far away. Okay, 7,000, that's fine. We're going to heighten cultivation holdings. As you can see, I'm already wanted there. They know I'm coming, they know. <laughs> this is an area of space that I have a little bit of a reputation in, let's just say. A positive and negative one, depending on whose perspective you agree with. I do love this little rocket ship, like it is lovely. Back up, leave. Such a pretty cockpit. A bounty Wait, what? For what? What did I get a bounty for? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. It's, I've got a large bounty. What have, what have I done? What have I done? Off to units. There is a red dot on radar. Did we shoot? Oh, maybe it's the facility. Yeah, it is the facility. The botanical center is angry at me because I murdered everyone there. But that, that then that begs the question: Who's angry at me? Everyone is dead. I don't feel anything. I turned the alarms off. Is it is it because I I put the G meds in the uh, power regulator? Did the facility just blow up behind me as well? <laughs> Power, power function critical. Hold on, we got a hollow dot here. Is that one of our? It's not in our gang. What's dark heavy? What's up? What up, dark heavy? Do you want to come in the gale, in the guild, in the guild pack? Can we call them guilds? Uh, okay, so the transaction here. Nope. Do do do. Nope. Or wait, hold on. No, oh, that's Fong Wang. Units. Okay, so you have to kill 12 administrators um, that work for the Dark Wheel. Which, I actually like the Dark Wheel. They're my buds, but... Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta kill your buds. Okay, we gotta go all the way down to Heighten Cultivation. 10,000 light seconds away. Good morning indeed. Uh, Ray, you're saying you're a bit surprised that all your footwork for the Empire allied doesn't count towards your rank. Do you mean like your rank with the Empire, like Baron King, or do you mean like your elite rank? And... Mine, where, do, where does it show my, yeah. yeah, 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 I'm wanted in the Federation, wanted in the Empire. Uh, at least the Alliance likes me. Friendly with everyone. Lieutenant Commander in the Federation and Knight in the Empire. I don't know how you're able to join both militaries. Uh, yeah, but, you know. I do need to uh, finish my grind for those factions, but it is a, it is one of the more painful ones. Because you're not making that much money, and it's not that fun. So... Why do you want to do it? I don't know, man. Why do you want to do it? I don't want to do it. That's why I'm not. Uh, that's why I'm not a baron or or whatever, or king. What's up with space kings? But this is what this is what I like to grind is permits. All these lovely permits. I need more permits. I need to be able to scroll on that page. I want to get all the permits in the game. That's a grind that I would not um, feel bad about doing. And certainly, maybe on, on future streams. Um, you know, oh well, wait, sorry, I'm quitting Elite. Um, there will be no future streams. No, I'm just kidding. But on future streams, I might do um, some permit permit acquisitions. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in! The Eric Andre meme. I love it when we act out memes. When you don't have the meme handy, so you act it out. There should be a, a board game like... Um, is it like headbands or whatever, like those things where like you put the cue card on your head and you have to ask people questions about who you are. Oh yeah, I'm Ray Harryhausen or whatever, right? Uh, but they should do that with memes where you put like the meme on your head and people have to like, you have to guess which meme you are. I'm sure that probably exists, but 
or you could just print those out and do it yourself. But I want to start that. I want to start a board game company and charge people seventy dollars for a box that just has printed out memes <laughs> that I just printed out on my own computer. But it'll cost seventy dollars, and I will sell it for a profit on Amazon. Why? So that Jeff Bezos can send more Star Trek characters into space for reasons. Heighten horticultural. Kill everything. Hold on. Wait, wait. Yeah, I, I think it's 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 specifically kill administrators. But um, and I don't know. I can't share this mission again. I think you have it there. But yeah, kill administrators. Which kind of feels like, do we have to, like, relog? Or are there going to be enough administrators there? Hopefully. Gaffa a phone to your head. <laughs> Funny enough, when I did have a, 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 like a, a phone sales job, or it was just call after call, I would sometimes put, like, a headband, or even just take a piece of tape and literally tape it to my head so I could talk hands-free, full Italian style, right? And people would look at me weird, like, oh, what was this guy taping his phone to his head? It's like, you know, I'm the guy who's going to get promoted because I have the dedication to take this shit to my head. Level 2 mob admin? Um, yeah, I don't know, administrators. I don't know what, like, do they have to have that specific job title or is that just, like, people that aren't guards? I don't know. I think that, I think to be safe we should kill everyone. Might have to do two settlements from the faction. Oh, fair enough. Two is better than one. It does look like there are two planets here, or at least a planet and a moon, as we come in on our Spiral of Awesome. The trick is not to die. That is the real trick. I do always love these uh, binary planets, especially when you can get a nice view, when you can be on one planet and see the other one. Looks like we got, like, what looks like a beat is what we're landing on next to a potato. It's a potato beet salad. I do like the uh, sultry red undertones. Planet Burgundy. And we might just get lucky and have a very nice view here. That's cool. I do like the color here. I like shiny colors. It's a nice contrast as well with potato over there. Beets and potatoes. Not gaffa, staple. Oh god. Let's staple, staple, let's staple something to your face. Yeah, really cool. I do like to look at that other planet in the background. It might dip under the horizon. Maybe just partially. Drop it into Glide. You like potato salad with mint, bacon, cucumber, and mayo. That actually sounds really good. I would eat that. I would eat that. There's a lot of things I wouldn't not eat. Does that make sense? I eat everything, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm getting a little hungry myself. I just had, um, I did have breakfast right before this. Just a simple little breakfast sandwich and uh, a donut. I love me my donuts. I'm very tempted. There's a, a, a donutery that I found that makes these so excellent little mini donuts and they get dipped in like a, a dip and then sprinkled with different ingredients and it's all like random stuff but they are so good but I'm like I, I feel like I'm gonna get so so large <laughs> the donuts are so good you don't like beet I'm not huge on beet either the only thing I like about beets is that it makes your pee pee or, uh, purple and I think that's fun I like being funky colors don't like the, the the taste of beets though. Not a not a big beet guy. I'll eat anything though. I used to not like Brussels sprouts. Now I'll eat Brussels sprouts. I don't care if it's food, if it's edible, I'll eat it. All right, I think we will go with Funtime Happy Suit. We'll stick with that, just because it's got our key weapons, our plasma weapons. So the goal here is to kill twelve administrators. And I'm wondering, like, should we try to do it the uh, roasted sprout and a sprout? Oh, frame rates, frame rates. 
Roasted Spartan Asparagus. Yeah, I never liked Asparagus as a, as a child, uh, but I have grown to like that as well. With enough butter and salt, anything tastes good, though. Okay, so I'm getting some weird frameys here. Just trying to see if I can see any guards moving around. I'm not seeing anyone. There's someone off in the distance over there. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, just make sure we got our shotgun there. Okay, so we can get a nice little glimpse in here. Oh, we got someone there. Hmm. Let's go pay him a visit. He looks lonely. He looks like he needs some company. Can we get in here? Yes, zero for access. Hello, sir. <laughs> Wait a minute, it says Mission Assassination Chelsea McLeod. Am I at the wrong place? And by the way, okay, I see like a little spirally star thing. Is he unconscious? Let's just make sure. Okay. I guess he's dead. This is a no fire zone. You're gonna die! I didn't. You know. I don't regret. I regret nothing. We'll take some energy here, though. So I don't know yet. It's just like mission assassination, Chelsea McLeod. So I think we are here on an assassination mission. Maybe it's maybe we're kind of double dipping. Maybe we have to do both. Well, let's see if there's a Chelsea McLeod here. Maybe I got all the missions mixed up, and that's why I've been failing them. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's a Chelsea McLeod here. Okay, well, let's start by killing that person. Oh, you scared me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Door opened. I'm like, oh my god, someone's coming. I should use a med pack. Grab one from here. And while we're here, let's see again. We're looking for graphene. We're looking for titanium plating. Ooh, data. Um, yeah, sure, why not? We'll take it all. It's kind of confusing where it's like they only show remover. Okay, whatever. We'll download all this. Oops, making the red lights. Let's see if anyone comes to investigate. Maybe our... Uh, Illustrious target will head on over. Make yourself aware. Make yourself uh, useful. I'll stand behind this box. Some good cover there. And we're just gonna point right at this door. Oh yeah, it looks like our target is like coming. Yeah, she's coming to investigate. This is the old lure. Lure the uh, lure the target to you. Hi. <laughs> Lovely. So now let's just leave the settlement, but hold on a second. Um, that was really convenient. That was proper. Okay. A member of your team is under attack. So V866 Center Future. So are we even at the right facility for that. I don't think so. Um, where is... Yeah, yeah. We're shooting. <laughs> I do love that. Lovely. Okay, uh, what am I looking for is like gal map would be navigation, right? Navigation, uh, system map. So is the suit voiced by the same guy that does Claptrap? I don't know what Claptrap is. So we are in probably the wrong system. Yeah, so that was just... Okay, so apparently that was... I was looking at the wrong mission. So let's look at the galaxy map. 
are there any other... See, there are still uh, things to do here. That's where I feel like, yeah, we probably have to find the right settlement. So let's just take a second to... Yeah, it is in units. We just have to find the right facility. So we want V866, the V8 uh, tomato juice uh, faction. We'll zoom in on that, and we will look at uh, what you can do here is this little area called Points of Interest. And you can see here who owns what. So Buell, Con Buell Construction is owned by the V866 uh, people. So we can go there. Where's Buell? Buell Construction. That is where we must head. And we're going to have to kill some people there. And oh wow, there's a battle door. Takoso, your shields are low. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Well, look at all the bodies. You guys have been doing some good fine work out here. Fine work indeed. Is there anyone even left to... Uh... Yeah, the, the, the plasma rifle does really suck against skimmers because they are very movie, movie typey. Who's that? Tacos, I'll cover you from my uh, in my courier. I'll cover you so that you can make it to your ship. Can you kill people with that? With the zapper? Yes, yes. And I agree, they should make it non-lethal. It should be like... Um, I see Dark Heavy's working his way down there. There we go. Just get rid of that little guy. It also sort of got rid of our shields. And there's a vulture there that's probably delivering um, reinforcements. I don't like reinforcements. Now, how's this for spirit combat, right? I mean, at this point, he's not fighting back because he's a dropship. He doesn't know what he's supposed to do. Just get that shield down, then our missiles will work much better. I think he's just going back down to deliver more people. Like, they don't even have to go and pick people up. They just go up and down. And for some reason, that uh, allows them to... Uh, restock themselves. But that's okay. There will be no reinforcements! Oh wait, something just took me down to... Okay, something, something's hurting me, something's hurting me. Popping all of the things. Okay, we are at 4% hull, we're safe. I think. Just out of range of missiles. Okay, my shields are back. Let's just finish the job here. I don't want to let this guy get away with what he's done. Delivering reinforcements to fight me? No, sir. I can just stand up here and pelt him with missiles. Or maybe not. Maybe he, Maybe there's point defense down there. Oh. Well. 
he died. And they're pissed off. So, um, all right. Let's head on to Buell. Make more people in the galaxy even happier today. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're going around, we're spreading joy and murder. Uh, and Ray, you are excited for update eight. What is in update eight? I think, like, did they mention new SRV? Uh, what else have they mentioned in update eight? Is that where they're putting uh, ship interiors on mega ships and maybe fleet carriers, or is that just like people's wish lists? <laughs> I'm not really clear. I, I honestly, I've kind of tuned out. I'm not watching the frontier streams. I find it like they're just not really that entertaining to watch. Like, develop community managers play the CQC. You know, it's like okay, it's cool, but. I'm just not that interested in it anymore. So, uh, you know, I do my own thing. But uh, I've kind of just, like, not been looking at all the updates and stuff that they're planning. Like, I'm just kind of... When they when it happens, it'll happen. I don't... Uh, tell me the news when the news is uh, relevant, right? She's got a turret laser and dumb missiles, too. Yeah, you know what? I'm using uh, a turreted laser and um, uh, seeker missiles. I could probably be doing better myself with my outfit, but I didn't really expect myself to be shooting dropships. I didn't know what I was going to do today other than try to do some damn missions. Oh, damn it. Hold on. Where is this place? Buell. I need to relock the destination so that I can get the proper readout. Okay, so we go there, we kill some administrators, then we kill some more administrators. We're spreading goodwill to all the dead NPCs, but you know what? We, we can quit Elite dang Dangerous. They can't quit until we help them quit. We're assisting them in their quitting efforts. Think about it. These NPCs get blown up. What do they do? They can, they're free. They can go play Star Citizen. They can go play No Man's Sky. They could play Wing Commander 1990-whatever. Um, play Wing Commander 4. It's a great game. Um, we're giving them freedom. We're releasing them from their burden, right? If, if the, the procedurally generated galaxy would just let them continue on their path indefinitely they would never leave these facilities if a commander didn't come down and relieve them of their life and get and give them the whatever life comes after when the, when the braven whatever the braven says team interdiction damn interdictions uh you love the small ships from foot stuff me too i think i think that one thing that Odyssey has done well is kind of bring the small ships back into relevancy. Like, it definitely does feel like, um... Are you guys both being interdicted? Oh my god. How is it that I'm the only one that's not currently being interdicted? That's usually the other way around. I'm at 4% hull, I just remembered. Um, you blow it up by NPCs in your v Viper Mark IV so much that you bought your big gun. The Python you're flying with multiple cells and all reinforcements. So yeah, the Python is a brute. So lovely to um, uh, take damage and receive it. We are freeing them from the tyranny of Frontier's NPC factories. They're just churning out these NPCs. They don't like us attacking dropships. I guess not. But I attacked them too. I was kind of... I provoked that. They let me get off scot-free, but... Uh, Claptrap is the smart Alec robot's comedy sidekick from Borderlands 2. I never played, um, never played the Borderlands series. I've heard really good things. I would like to do that. In Sea of Thieves, you can burn players, put them to sleep, blow them up. That's wonderful. Um, I should eventually try that. I did know that, um, I heard, I was reading an article the other day that in Star Citizen, the players have figured out that... Um, essentially, in the starports, you're not allowed to carry weapons. But they added a mechanic for medics, and so you can buy med packs. However, if you take too many med packs, you can actually overdose. And there's no restriction on healing people in stations. So apparently, groups of players have been going around just finding people and stim packing them into unconsciousness, murdering them through drug overdoses and taking all their shit. And I love that. <laughs> <laughs> just a group of psychotic doctors going around overhealing people to the point where they're dying of uh, drug overdoses. So then players have countered because apparently there's also some sort of like anti-overdose medication that you can take to uh, beforehand. So people are like, 
taking like anti Stimpak overdose meds before going into starports because there's roving gangs of doctors trying to uh, uh, essentially like like overdose people, which I'm like that's great. Uh, that's very like Space Station 13. That makes me want to play Star Citizen. And, and again, it's like, why can't I do that in Elite? Why can't we go around jamming people with needles on the concourses? What's your problem, Frontier? Why didn't you, in fact, why didn't you know that this is our deepest, darkest fantasy? I mean, if you think about it, well, let's just, let's just, again, people can't resist shooting things, which isn't that far from real life. That's the Braben, okay? Braben, you should have known. The next, I don't just want to shoot people, I also want to stab them with needles and heal them so many times that their clothes fall off and I can take their, take their stuff. Are you game froze? You were landing on you were landing on a structure, and you got stuck. Well, that happens. Welcome to my world, right? Yeah, you are in the unknown apparently, according to the uh, team radar there. Okay, so let's kill some administrators, and when we finish this facility, I think we'll do a quick bio break. See if we can get some of the other missions done. We have failed all but one mission, like the simple assassination mission. That one worked out. Everything else, complete object failure. We got a keel back. There's a Tacoso gliding in. Oh no, you got destroyed. What happened? And drop from the group. Oh no. Something went catastrophically wrong. We're gonna land closer to the buildings. We don't need to ask permission to dock at these facilities. You can just you can just land find a nice little patch nearby and land. Here we'll do. It may be a trespass zone, but you know what? We're here to kill people anyway. Oh yeah, squad bunch. <laughs> the power of squad bunch. Yeah, I guess like that might be why it's breaking, right? Because like there's multiple it's trying to struggle with multiple instances and all that sort of stuff. I don't know, I ain't no computer programmer. All I know is I've been sent here to kill people, and I'll do my job to the best of my ability. Hello, any administrators? Are you an administrator? Oh no, I'm green with these people. That means I'm allied. I'm gonna feel bad about this. Hello. Stow your weapon. Gun down. Ooh. Ooh. No alarms so far. That's good. I will take your identity. Never know when you need that that level one access, right? And let me just get a top up here. This person does not look alerted. And now they're dead. Anybody see that? Okay, we are looking for administrators. Hello, is, are you an administrator, sir? Oh, you're a technician. Oh, well, you know what? Just to be safe, we should probably kill everyone. Hello. Oh, damn it. Oh, hi. Shield, 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 shield. That fucking worked. Holy shit. Uh, I kind of just panicked and mashed buttons and ooh, graphene. <laughs> that worked out somehow. Wonderful. I am going to clone your profile. That way I can go into the room, please. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> Took him a little bit there. We'll do that, and that will make 
people be like, what the hell's going on? I do like these random murder sprees because, um... It does make things quite dangerous. Ooh, hello. Titanium plating. Who's shooting me? Is there someone upstairs? And why is there random, like, titanium plating just on the ground? Chemical patents. We'll take that. Is there someone up here shooting at me? Little, again, all the little goodies that are hiding on the ground sometimes. Hello, sir. Wait, where are my damn shields? Okay, they were just not recharged. Okay, I was like, I thought I... I thought they were broken there for a second. Not all good loot comes in uh, boxes. Sometimes you will literally just find it um, randomly on the ground. Uh, no, hold on. What's the grenade wheel? Wait for shields. Wait for shields. Why can't I open door? Can you open door? I have level two. Wait, what? Oh, damn you. So how come the doors don't open for me? That's weird. I've actually never seen that before. Alright, well let them let them come to me. Uh can you open the door, sirs? They're all like shooting someone up there. Is that you, Tikoso? I think these doors are forked. Anymore. Damn it! <laughs> there were too many of them! I know, I should have taken meds. Damn it! Well, there was an attempt. We did kill a lot of people. I feel good from doing that. I feel energized. Murder is ener energetic. You have lost consciousness! Yes, like all those people that I shot in the face also just lost consciousness. I'm not a murderer. Oh no! Well, it looks like I'm going to criminal lands with a $47,000 bounty. And of course, my ship won't come with me, so now I'm gonna have to taxi. Well, you know what? That taxi might be a good point for a bio break. Ah, the old detention facilities. Let me just take a shower before I go. Right away, that's not a shower, that's a... Why would you have, like, a transparent window over the poo toilet? Like, you think this, like, broken up, like, matted glass is going to hide... I can see the toilet clearly. You just walk into prison and it's just some guy, like, literally sitting there pooping. Like, have some real doors, man. Have some decency. Do you make prison... Do you watch prisoners poop? Is that what you do, you sick bastard? Oh, look at that, he smiled. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You're a fucking... You're a fucking poop fetish man. All right, well... Where do we go now? Welcome to Apex Interstellar. Where can we take you today? Because we're going back to Nunitz. Oh my god, it's so many jumps. Jumps. Uh, it was B6, I believe. Told me chemical, like that guy. What's his name? Yeah, here we go. Buell Construction. We'll book a cab back there. I'll get in the cab. We'll do a bio break. That way everybody can stretch your legs, get your get your nommies. 
And then we'll go back to uh, try and kill people. Oh wait, wrong elevators. So confusing. Uh oh, Commander Minari's dead. Is that, is that you? That's you, Zakal, right? You died. Why'd you die? I died too. I could use some more coffee. I'll tell you, I, I, I did a 48 hour film festival last weekend. I only slept about two and a half hours, maybe three hours during the from Friday to Sunday. Really screwed up my sleep schedule. Welcome aboard. Make yourself comfortable. I uh, don't mind if I do. I will just poop myself. You don't mind if I poop myself, right? That's just how I feel comfortable. Let's find a nice angle here. I think uh, there's a good one. Let's just move it over there like that. And thusly, and we'll bring up our little bio break stuff. So I will be back in uh, like five minutes. I will see you shortly. Uh, listen to some lovely two of music and watch as this taxi grazes the cosmos. Back, by a break over. And what up, Wilkie's World? What's up, Giz07? <laughs> yeah, a bio break. Do they have toilets in Apex? 
Uh, my suit is my toilet, don't you know? I can poop anywhere. Uh, uh, my Apex driver called Man. Your Apex driver is just called Man? What's mine called? What is your name, ma'am? Where can I see your name? Uh, don't know. Can I not see your lovely name? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What's up, Scorby? Clearly he's having a poo. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep, just right here in my computer chair. I just mute my mic so you don't hear get, you get to see hear all the wonderful sounds. <laughs> uh, I think that's got to be some sort of tech that converts bio waste into fuel. That's probably because if you well because like what the ships are powered on hydrogen. Is there hydrogen in poop? Can we have a real life poop scientist come on the show and answer uh, that question? I would like to know what's in my poop. If there's hydrogen there, then there is fuel. And hello, happy sack. Happy sex, happy place. I'm Dirk Wagner, and I approve of this stream. Whoosh. I wonder what that smell was. Man Curtis. That's your that's your driver's name? Curtis. Man Curtis. My name is Curtis. Curtis Man. Man Curtis. <laughs> on the Golden Throne. I wish, you know, that's the next step, is I would spend arcs on chair customization. Don't tell Frontier this, of course, but... Well, I, I mean, like, if we could, not, if we could customize our chairs... And put weird skins on our chairs. I would go for that. I want a shark skin chair. Uh, especially this Rimlock bio, bio waste filtration system might be on the blink. We'll only notice when it starts to dribble from his neck. <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen crazy, crazy weird stuff uh, happen in, in uh, on these hollow me's. Let's just watch the poo cam. This is I'm pooping right now. You can see you can see the uh, the legs twitching. That's the poop running down inside of the suit, and uh, into the fuel processors, which are located just below the knee. Everyone knows those. That's where the bio waste is turned into fuel for the ship. Please don't look at me while I'm pooping. It makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. She's just like, who the hell is this guy in my taxi? That's it. I quit. Quitting elite? No, we've already quit. Um, we have rage quit three times this stream. Today's topic is all about jumping on that bandwagon. We are leaving elite. We are going to stop playing elite and start start taking it seriously. I'm quitting. I'm quitting uh, uh, elite as a game, and I'm starting it as a as a reality. And why is I don't know? It bothers me that she's not rotating the ship. How can we be flying at this thing perpendicularly? You're, you're triggering my OCD, ma'am. Can you please can you please rotate the ship? I will not tip you if you do not rotate the ship. Uh oh, two girls are ran into power and got killed. And are we missing someone from the? Uh... Let's reinvite you to the team. Uh, dude, water is H two O. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, there's got to be water in poop, right? So you just have to separate the poop from the water, and then separate the hydrogen from the oxygen. And there's your fuel and your life support. So poop is life, really. Um, if you don't give, you're not going to get, right? You can't go anywhere. You can't breathe your air without poop. That is the that is the fuel of the future. Oh my god, what in the blazes are you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm quitting Elite multiple times. We're seeing how many times I, I, I can quit Elite in one stream. So far it's at three. I've, I've almost quit several times, though. And, you know, talking about going over to No Man's Sky or Star Citizen. Because <laughs> that's, that's trending, man. That's, a, that's what it's all about right now. But no, I, in reality, I'm not quitting. I, though I will quit at the end of this stream. I guarantee you. In fact, I was saying earlier, if you, if you missed the first part, is that how many times have you quit Elite um, in, your, in your space career? And I would say it's in the thousands, because I've played a thousands of times, and then I have to quit to get out of the game. So I'm quitting all the time, right? We, we have to quit, it's part of the process. But but you're always gonna come back, that's the thing. So you know, fol folks like, um, uh, you know, Drew is the, re the recent one where I saw he's he's now leaving Elite, but then I think in my back of my mind, uh, they're gonna fix Odyssey, and they're gonna add a bunch of new stuff, and you'll be back, you'll all come back. Let's be real. But quitting is, part quitting is fine, it's good to take breaks, it's good to, uh, get new perspective to refresh the old uh, uh, elite dangerous um, uh, space boner. 
In Star Trek, the most replicated food is recycled poop. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, it's probably efficient. Yeah, space boner. You ever heard of space boners? The stream is poop. I quit again. Or maybe I'll quit in 10 minutes or 5 minutes. Or no, no. That's it, Happy Sack. You know what? Just for that, I'm going to quit. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to click on that. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, that's four. That's four quits. Four quits. We have quit. Every time we quit, we see a, a, a lovely quote from the creator. People can't resist shooting things, which isn't that far from real life. That's a real David Raven quote. Yeah, no, Drew did. Yeah, this is Drew's uh, quitting stream. Uh, one out of one out of twelve, <laughs> the quitting series. I like Drew a lot. I, I I'll be sad to see him go, but he'll be back, as will most of the people that quit. Um, right now, I think yeah, there's um you know there's been some lovely improvements and stuff like that since um you know the game sort of sort of first came out. Like definitely frame rates have improved, though they're still not perfect. They don't, you can't buy beer from the bar yet. That's not that's not a thing yet. But um, eventually, eventually these things will be here. And by the way, look at my beautiful ship. And I get to, I have to get stuck in this stupid taxi. As long as there's some moisture in the poop, if you've dehydrated yourself, so it's like rocks. There'll be less fuel in there. More carbon though. Hmm. So what do they use carbon for? Limpets? Manufacturing limpets? Uh, can you guys reinvite me to the, the team? Same taxi driver though. I like how I quit, and then she just sits in space waiting for me to come back. So she knows what it's all about. She knows you can't quit. You can't really quit. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a well, the hiccup. That'd be hilarious if the game put you in jail. Uh, if I learned anything from Tetris, when things come together, they disappear. <laughs> That's true. One of the many many lessons that you can learn from Tetris. Also, that you know. Uh, Russians are awesome. And they make awesome music. The Tetris theme song is iconic. Uh, Squirb is enough to make anyone quit Elite, so is Turgeon. <laughs> well, I look into a mirror, I just want to completely check out of Elite completely. This is the I qu I'm, I'm quitting Elite um, as a game, but I'm not quitting it as a lifestyle, a way of life. Millstone Bard, how you doing, man? couldn't resist the clickbaity title. I know, that's totally what it is. I'm just jumping on the bandwagon and trying to seek attention by pretending to quit over and over and over again. Though I actually have quit. I've quit four times. I've quit the game four times today, and I will quit at the end of the stream, so that's at least five guaranteed quits. He quit so much the game put him in jail. Well, I don't know that's why they put me in jail. I think they put me in jail because of all the murder. But I'm sure the quitting talk doesn't help. All right, so let's disembark. Yes, and Zekow is mini 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 me. I'm gonna call you just mini me because <laughs> I can't read or pronounce. That would always be Dangus. I am taking this. I, I have a new direction for the series. I haven't made like a. Vi I've been doing the streaming regularly, but haven't made a video in a while, and I, I kind of plot it out and know what the next like. I don't know, 19 videos are going to be? I kind of, I, I know what I'm going to do. I just to start doing it. But, oh my god, what's going on? Frame rates. Frame rates. We are... We are... Okay, we can see, we can see, we can see. Alright, so let's just see here. Have we failed this mission? Or is it still... Everything's all hunky-dory. So yeah, we failed the personal documents thing because they weren't there, so instead we just murdered everyone. Uh, this is the Massacre mission, and we have done absolutely zero kills. <sighs> so we have to kill administrators. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe there's only one administrator in the base. We still have tons of different missions we could do, but let's try and kill some administrators. So instead of just killing everyone this time, maybe we'll try to track down an administrator. Hold on, let me just see, am I welcome here? Are you going to have a problem with me? Right, hold on, Commander. Let's just let him scan. None of your warrants involve nope. us. Nope. All right, we're good. 
See, when you go to jail, all your crimes are forgiven. You do the time for the crime, no one gives a shit anymore. Mm, zero. All you people with zero access, like, why do they even trust you with a gun if they won't trust you with a damn door? Level one. Okay, I can take one of your profiles. Ooh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Stop looking at me. I'm not even here. I don't want that guy to see, though. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we gotta be stealthy about this. Oh my god, there's so many people. Gotcha! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Now we gotta find an administrator. So, can we get into command? Yes. Level 1 access is sufficient. We're in. Ooh, graphene. Take. Doink. Okay, so now, now that we're in, we have to slowly upgrade our security profile. This guy with his level 2 will do nicely. Kathy Booth, don't mind if I steal your identity for a moment. Hello. Kathy Booth. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Kathy Booth. Isn't that a weird coincidence? Okay, now we have level 2 access. That will get us a little bit further. And that is not on the ground. We have floating materials here, people. Level 2 will get you into here. Which is now a restricted zone. So you know how I have to play this one. Uh, yeah. We'll just disable those scans. So now we don't we don't even need to have a profile. Hello. Everything's fine. Just go back to sleep. <laughs> it went down pretty easy. Oh, Kathy Booth. I just killed myself, technically speaking. Hold on, alarms are going off. Hold on. We can rectify this or not. Okay, blank panel, what's going on? I like that we're getting missions that don't require murdering people to death soon. I mean, I like murdering people to death. Census data, okay, I'll take that. I want to know what the people think. More graphene, look at this. This is and a scrambler under that. What is going on like with the loot distribution in this base, right? Oh my god, this is a graphene cornucopia. We don't have enough graphene here to build build an entire base. Okay, so wanna kill administrators. Are you were you an administrator? Oh you were! Lovely. Okay. That was helpful, thank you. Anyone else in here? Hello? Or do we... I think we probably got everyone in the building to come get themselves murdered. We'll just do a quick little loot check. We seem to have really good graphene here. Micro super capacitor. I don't know. That sounds nice. And these screens are very cool. It's like they're analyzing DNA. I should also probably let's turn off all these all these little things that could potentially hurt us okay so we've murdered the building uh, am I still on the quest yes we are on the quest to kill administrators so we have to kill anyone who looks like they could be um, an innocent civilian basically and if some innocent civilians die during the process, then honestly, that's just um, that's just the circle of life. I don't like what I have to do, but you know, I'll, I mean, it's not gonna stop me. Okay, so where could more administrators be hiding? Maybe in that building over there. 
not allowed to use that device away. Ah! <laughs> See, he, even he didn't notice that. He's like right over here. Oh shoot! Okay, he noticed. Oh! Oh no! What happened? I know, I find all the glitches, right? Hey, what's up, Scranson? How you doing? I don't know. That guy, I, I should have probably put my shields up. That's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> That's okay. We're fine with that. Death is part of the process. You think stunning people is a different age rating and affects how it's marketed? But I'm like, I'm like, I like the idea of, uh... Like, I want to be a non-lethal spy, and I want to infiltrate a facility. I want to knock someone out and steal their access, but they'll wake up later. It's fine, right? Versus, like, I'm just going to go in there and shoot everyone, which I'm also cool with. Hello again. Yes, I'm a repeat criminal. I like how it's the same guy. Like, this guy, literally, um, he was here before. So he's just seeing me, like, get released from prison multiple times in a day, and he's all like, that's cool. Oh, here we go, another taxi. Okay, well maybe, like... I'm just wondering, like, maybe we should try one of the other... missions. Let's go to Shinrata proper. Because I feel like that's going to take forever to find 12 administrators. We do have some missions that we have to do here. Um, you can seek them because they're blue. Matsumoto. So we're gonna head to Matsumoto Chemical Holdings in Shinratra. Shinratra. <coughs> but then I'm SOT. You can put, put, put people to sleep and burn them. What's SOT? Like, what can you put people to death and burn them? Oh, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Now I understand. Yeah, I do like, I do love that idea of like, yeah, I want to put this person unconscious, drag their body, and they're like, oh, he put me unconscious, everything's going to be fine. But then, uh, then you burn them to death. <laughs> it's a good twist. Okay, so what are we doing at Matsumoto? This is, um, steal the suit schematic. I will share this mission. And funny enough, we have to steal the suit schematic, and the reward is three suit schematics. Why can't I say that word? But like, steal one suit schematic, and then um, we'll give you three. But the suit schematics, like, essentially are the same object, no matter what it is. So I guess maybe in the, you know, in your imagination, you can imagine each suit schematic is like a different suit schematic. I'm really struggling to say that word. I don't understand. Okay, so let's just see what what progress did we make there. Um, one, yeah, okay. I feel like the only way to do that is to kind of like re-log and have a new administrator spawn, go in, kill everyone again. I'm not opposed to doing that, but I think these assassination missions would be a little more fun. And they seem to be the least glitched. That was the one mission that we were able to successfully complete was assassination. We couldn't even complete the personal documents one because that was glitched. And that was one of the times I rage quit. So we're currently at four rage quits. So what will happen that's gonna gonna trigger the next one? That's the question. When which one and which rage quit will be permanent? Which one will I walk away from elite and never come back? You want a bridge full of forty-four unconscious admin workers? <laughs> you just want to what? Have like a bunch of unconscious people on your ship to do what with them? What do you, what are you going to do with those forty-four unconscious admin workers? You just gonna bring them to a weird place and then just like strand them on a planet and say, "Build me a base. I will come back and pick you up in two years." And I expect to have a, mine, a full mining operation. That would be an interesting form of like uh, you take like a bunch of imperial slaves and then just like strand them on a planet, give them just enough su supplies to make it through the next couple days. So yeah, build me a base. Oh, by the way, what's my notoriety at? Three. Out of what? Ten? Oh, that's nothing. We're like baby criminal. This is apparently Zamina Torvalsis. <coughs> so that's lovely. I'm not wanted in the Federation anymore. I still have an Imperial Bounty. Oop. 
just to not feel lonely. Just to, just to hear them breathing. The choruses of 44 unconscious people breathing in the back of my ship keeps me, keeps me, uh, keeps the loneliness of space down. Man, please don't interdict me. I know we are going into Shinrata, and that is home of, uh, home of the biggest creepers. What, what the hell is this? Oh. Oh. I didn't even notice that tab there. So yeah, this got added to the game. I, this is the first time seeing this. So I can do local redirects and long range redirects. And my pilot is Duncan Lerner. He passed his exam on the 3rd of October, 3298. So he's been in the in the taxi gig for like 10 years. It's a little bit, I mean, 10 years, man. Is that like a little career stagnation? I mean, maybe this is what he loves doing. Maybe he just loves flying an adder. I certainly do. I go back to fly the outer every once in a while, just because I love this, like, sort of station wagon feel to it. So this is interesting now. So I could I could redirect him now and say, you know, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Let's do it. Let's try a redirect. Let's see if it crashes, and then I quit. Look at that. Look at that. It's as easy as that. So this is something that you can quote-unquote do in a taxi. Like, oh, people are bored with these long-range uh, travel. We'll give them the ability to uh, change where they want to go. But that's kind of cool. I actually do like that. Um, that is a nice feature. Because oftentimes you might pick the wrong destination or maybe halfway to a long-distance destination. You're like, wait, 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 wait. There's something going on over here. I want to go over there. So it is a very good feature to have. I just did, I actually didn't know they added that. I do really like that you get to know your, when you're driver passed their space exam. It's a great example of like important information that we need to know. How about a Duncan? You still happy in your job? You still like being a taxi driver? Duncan, I'm talking to you. I wish they would just randomly talk to you during that. By the way, is that a cup holder? Hold on. I saw a cup holder. Oh, it's a it's that thing over there. Is that a cup holder? What is that? It kind of looks like a cup holder. Okay, get out of here, menu. Yeah, from this angle, it looks like it's a cup holder. He's got like a mug floating in front of him. Uh, or like a slaughterhouse. I listen to Galnet while in Apex. Yeah, no, and, and definitely that is something you can you can do. Oh, look at that. Galaxy wide fine, three hundred thousand. Galaxy wide bounty, ninety two thousand. Those are kid kid numbers. But definitely, yeah, you can go in and go to Galnet News and download all your news. Right now we've got what uh, Dyson City needs to be repaired. The Scrivener's Clan, the Orion University. It's kind of interesting there. Like, the Orion University wants to go in and steal their knowledge core. I smell a community goal, uh, probably a conflict community goal. Protect the mega ship, maybe. Uh, Torvald Mining, blah, 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 boring corporate politics. Federal agents crush Jupiter Division. So, again, more of this um, the PDB, the Protective, the Proactive Detection Bureau using Minority Report tactics to go out there and uh, uh, stop criminals before the crime happens. And Tokoso masticates on apples. Uh, and then of course, this is, to me, I, I think this is interesting for two reasons. I love the Joker's deck idea. I love that they have this like detective agency that's investigating stuff. And then the Winking Cat is back. So the Winking Cat stole the legendary Joker from the Joker's deck. Uh, and now they've pissed off an inter intergalactic high stakes uh, casino ring. Um, if this leads somewhere, then very cool. I think it will be cool. Uh, everything else is kind of whatever. Um, I do like the whole, um, I do really like the, uh, what do you call it, um, Azimuth storyline. I think that's like a really cool engaging storyline that is dripping out very, very, very slowly. Um, if you haven't been on there yourself, I won't spoil anything, but you can, I've done previous streams on it. You're welcome to watch them. It's all the, the salivation um, or salvation or whatever. All that kind of storyline stuff I think is really cool. Of course, I feel like they probably aren't going to be able to do... Oh, Dark Heavy 8 killed me, apparently. 
Um, but they're, they aren't going to be able to really, I think, advance that storyline too, too much uh, until console Odyssey because they have to only advance that story in, like, Horizons. Like, there's nothing Odyssey-related about it, right? So I wonder if it's, like, is this because the story was kind of written to launch during Horizons and they're just getting around to it now? Or did they, like, have plans to do it, but in terms of execution, they're like, no, let's just, like, make it Horizons compatible? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they already had a lot of the assets built, a lot of the story written um, in the Horizons era. And then just said, like, when they said, like, we're going to put all that gallon and stuff aside, let's work on Odyssey, let's get that piece of crap out the door. <laughs> and then now they're starting to dribble that, that sort of pre-written stuff in there. I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of why, why the story doesn't seem to have, like, a connection to Odyssey. Okay, so the mission here is download employee genetic data from the data port. So we need, like, we're going to the sperm bank and we're stealing semen. That's how I'm going to picture it in my head. We're stealing uh, uh, someone, some famous person's semen, and we're going to hold it for ransom. This is a nice looking little place. Basu's Shelter. So given that this is more not really a com... Oops, what did I do? I didn't mean to disembark! I was going to my loadout! No, I don't want to have my Dominator suit. Let me back in! Let me back in! Duncan, don't leave me! You son of a bitch. Oh, wow. Not a lot of gravity here. Okay, well, I guess we will have to abide with our combat suit. And honestly, do these not look, like, kind of tasty? I would eat one of those tree grubs. So I do like these uh, facilities. They look like, you know, they are very real residences that you can see people living in. Hello. Let's go into the residency, see if we can get ourselves some security profile. Oh, don't get too close to that guy. Let me in. Hopefully it will be a zero level access. Wonderful. Oh, hi. Back up a bit, would you? Oh, wait, I'm not here to kill administrators. Habitat port seven. That could be in here. That could be in here. Okay, let's see if... Um, Yeah, so the dorms are blocked off. You do need level one access. The hallways are free to. Ooh, okay, you got level two. Gotta keep your guns I mean, around. It's more like it. Sorry, I was just gonna scan you and steal your identity. Don't mind me. Back to what you were doing, which is looking at those canisters. Very important work, though, sir. I'm sure. Sure, it's appreciated. Well, there's anyone else around here? Ooh, I think there is someone upstairs. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna kill him, but no witnesses. Ooh, level three. Level three. I think I want you. I want to be you, Aubrey Nixon. I want to be you. Oh, wait, hold on. We've got a little bit of a, little bit of a human traffic jam here. We're just gonna follow this guy, totally not creepy. Stop looking at me. You're scanning me? So uh -oh. professional. Okay, well, uh, it's go down now. I mean, it's a lot easier to scan them when they are dead, right? And also, like, it prevents the, the you know, like, Okay, hold on. I have some business to take care of. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't want to do this. I was just here to steal some sperm. But now it's apparent to me that everyone must die. I will take that ammo. I guess what we're looking for are those little computer pads. If we can find a computer terminal, that will actually immensely help. Oh, hi. Checking out something. Oh. Neville Lynch, pilot. All these pilots have level 3 access. Now, funny enough, the alarm is not going off because, 
I've killed everyone. Oh, graphene! Love me some graphene. I feel like I died on the last mission, so I therefore lost all my graphene. Oh, there's a data panel. That could be it. Data port 8. Okay, so it's probably in this building. We'll take that. That was your fault. You attacked me. I was just pointing my weapon at you. I might... Higher level here. What's higher level? The enemies? Well, don't worry about that. They all... You know what? Higher level enemies just need more bullets. No one's, no one's invincible, though. Okay, it would be really nice to find a computer terminal. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Ooh, hold on. I think I saw someone else. Hey, what are you looking for? Deceased. Yeah, I know everyone's dead. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Sucker. Is this the one that we just did? Yes. Yes. Do 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 do. Look at all the bodies. Hey, sir. There's a lot of bodies up there. Oh. <laughs> no fooling you, eh? Okay, we will check the lower levels. We are looking for data pads so that we can steal the data. But thankfully, this mission did not have any restrictions like don't kill anybody. Those ones are pretty hard because usually you get into yourself into a pickle and you know, you gotta create a few bodies. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Can't help but do some looting while I'm here. Just wondering, like sometimes those data pads will hide in the darndest places. Okay, nothing on this side. Appears there are no more investigators, that's great. We have full impunity. No data here. What about here? Oh, our suit battery's low. Turn off those shields. Okay, I think my best bet is to go find a computer terminal. And that will give us the information. Usually there are computer terminals at the front of these buildings, but not always. Hello, is there a computer I can use here? I just refill my energy and take one of these. Hello? Graphene! Now graphene, uh, I specifically need it right now, but it's good in general because it has very high trade value. Oh, wait, wait. Data port three, hmm. Now keep in mind, I only have 10 data sleuths in this suit. Suits in the sleuth. We'll take this though. And all I see is that, uh, yeah, Zakao, you just died. Are you guys in the same instance with me, by the way? I don't know if you're uh, coming to this location. Because I did switch it up in the taxi. Hold on, who just opened that door? Do that again. Come on. Transfer complete. Lovely. Hi there. Nothing, nothing, no murder on my hands. Uh, running away. Okay. Commando's going over there to investigate. They're probably, it's probably the alarm went off for the data. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Salvation is a time traveler like John Titor. Yeah, that's an interesting theory. Is like, what if Salvation is um, a time traveler? <clears throat> oh my god, there's so many. Uh, so we're looking for data port 7. There's so many habitats. This is a very habitat heavy settlement. Data port 7, where are you? You have no idea why the fight starts. <laughs> well, those are usually, uh, it's probably something you did. 
Ah, here we go. Where is that at? Just follow the blue marker. I'm just taking your genetic data. Where are you? Stop shooting me. <laughs> Another administrator. See, if this settlement was the one where I could kill administrators, that would be lovely. Oh, shoot. He pissed off the hornet's nest. No witnesses. Anyone else want to come down and try their luck? Oh, yeah, you do. This shotgun, though, I tell you, I, I'm in love. It is wonderful. Hey, I just got promoted to soldier! Woohoo! That's it, I quit. That's amazing, though. I am a soldier now. Uh, so yeah, mission objective, leave the settlement. Wonderful. Alright, let's call down our ship. Cannot recall ship, ship not in range. God damn it. Oh no, I'm taxiing it from now on. Alright. That's fine. So we completed that mission. There is another one on this moon. The Kolkarni Sanctuary. Alright, we'll order our cab. Hopefully they don't get shot at as they try to land. We are going to also have to do emergency inventory management. Oh, hi there. Um, do you know where all these bodies came from? I was just, I'm just chilling here. There was, like, I don't know what was going on, but, uh, I'll tell you something. Let me tell you a secret. Warned you. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's too good. I would never murder people like this in real life. I just hope you all know that. I, I'm not a, not a crazy murderer. But in, in, um... In space, there are no rules. This, these, these uh, you know, commander uh, digs allow us to live out uh, lives that we would never truly be. Is that my taxi? Vito Underwood. Let's check. Let's check Vito out. What does he look like? Hello. Hi, Vito. Don't really look like a veto. And now we have to choose what in our backpack do we need? Well, we do need all that graphene, because graphene is good. We will sacrifice, I think, circuit boards. Uh, there was something else, was there not? New? New, new, new? I think we're okay for data. So yeah, it was just the assets. Okay, well, we don't need to get rid of all our circuit boards. And now we get to wait. Oh, do I get a black and chrome dominator suit? That's awesome. Thanks for that tip, Arson. Because, uh, yeah, I guess you do get little um, benefits for it. What if I go in here? Can I see? Can I do livery on suits from here? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Probably wouldn't be in suits. Maybe it's just like, oh, Three, two, one, he kicked me out. Uh, security status, power status, wanted status. I think something broke there. Again, it's still really buggy, uh, you know, and it's it's been a while since release, right? Still a lot of work they need to do. Get back to livery. So let's see, maybe I can put some new stuff on my legs, so... Which one is the new one? Uh... Mercenary, is that it? Mostly defenseless? I don't know. Let's put those digs on. I got some nice legs and a belt. It's like gear. Yeah, I think this is the stuff that you get. What's that? 
Oh, I'm seeing the orbit lines in, in Hollow Me mode. That's fun. Planesman Drifter. And then just like, look at all these individual cosmetics. Like, you want me to spend 16, 25, 50 for just like this stuff? Really? Frontier? You and your damn arcs. Uh, you're not sure which part you get first. It comes in three steps. Uh, one is the helmet, which sucks. And then you get the suit. And, oh, so you get like... Again, they're just like dribbling out little rewards. It's like, here's uh, one half of a sock. And if you rank up again, we'll give you the other half of the sock. So maybe it's in here. So maybe, is that it? The bronze helmet? Is that what I'm looking at here? Because I know you get the green one for exploration. Uh, Raider Marauders. Is it this one? Pioneer Orange? I do love the stupid orange faceplate. I don't know if I... I don't know what I got for that. It, it, it could do a better job telling you what you just want. I'm just happy to be uh, elite in something. Or, you know, promoted. Oh no! Oh no, I'm no longer allied with the Dark Wheel. Probably because I've been killing all their people. It's probably not a good thing if I think... It's a secretive, powerful cult. Probably should not be killing them. But there we go. Rank of Soldier. You don't get any um, cool uh, splash screens for this. Usually with Elite there would be like some animation there, but I guess they didn't have time to put that in Odyssey. So you don't know what happened there, you just stepped in the room and she let you up. <laughs> as they do, as they do. Uh, so let me, can I share this next mission or do we have to go back? Can we share multiple missions? Uh, I think this is an assassination. Yeah, Kulkarni. Yeah, see, I can't share it because, like, we already have one shared mission, which is, again, another thing. You should be able to share all of your missions with your team, not just one at a time. Because then you have to go in, go back to where you, you... Like, that defeats the efficiency of, like, I'm going to take multiple missions, go do them all, and then come cash them in. No. What you'd have to do to share them all is you'd have to go do the mission, go back, cash it in, do the next mission, go back, cash it in, etc., etc. And that'd be lame. Uh, you're not sure which part you, uh, check the pack section. It's, uh, soldier and on is silver. Okay, so, I don't know. Anyway, whatever, it's livery, livery stuff. I feel like I got my work, my look, um, my look all done up, like, nice. I think it's, like, just where I want it to be. Nice kind of hues of green and orange. Yeah, I like that look. So here we have to kill Estella Hernandez. I don't know what she did. I don't know who she is, but she's got to go. She's got to die. This looks like, okay, one of these touristy type settlements. That's cool. Have a nice day. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go to my sneaky ninja slushes. Oh my god! Is that a glitch? It never used to do that before, but I can't change suits. You can apparently only do that when before you are allowed to disembark. That's fine. Who are you? Maybe I'll get lucky. That'll just turn out to be her. No, Ingrid Wallace. Uh, yeah, you can't sh switch your weapons. That sounds like a glitch. Now, these are some of my favorite settlements, just in terms of the design. I love this little, like, bar area. It does feel very, very sci-fi. Please tell me my target's the bartender. No. Whitney Battle. Everyone's looking at me weird. This is just like, I feel like I'm in the children of the corn or something. Ooh, data. Uh, of course, they are all data that will get me in trouble. We shall use the computer machine. I'm not a black and silver kind of guy. I mean, I, 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 I definitely appreciate the sleek, sleek sexiness of that, but um, yeah, more like odd garish colors that are don't look good together. Okay, so we have our target selected. Where are they? Oh, over here in the residential wing. Interesting. All right, so we want to be stealthy with this. We don't want to get uh, to the point where we have to kill everyone again. Though, I mean, if it happens, it happens. Targeted for scan. Okay. Yeah, you can scan me. I don't care. Still until we're done. I do like this guy's sort of bronze camo. None of your warrants involve us. If you were in a copper mine, I wouldn't even be able to see you at all.
Okay, so it looks like our target's like in the room. Might need some access. Just level one access, that's all I need. You there. You there. God damn pillar. I'm scanning your butt cheeks. There we go. Got it. Okay. And I th oh. See, it's like fine for me to open the door, but I can't like walk in. But she's not gonna mind the fact that I've opened her door and I'm just like looking at her. Hello. As long as I don't cross this line with her looking at me. I missed. Oh, I don't have ammo. Okay. Um, we we'll do that one the hard way. Uh, now we will just walk away calmly and slowly. And nobody will notice. Sir, I think a man. I think someone's been shot. You should check in that room. I'm just gonna go this way and steal this graphene. Yeah, it looks like everything checked out. No one's dead over there. <laughs> Crap security force. And there you go. That's an assassination. At least that one didn't glitch out. Oh, by the way, where am I? In? Okay, yeah, I'm still in the, the crew. Let's just recharge here. See, that didn't make me want to quit Elite. That I, I'm fine with how that all went down. Okay, so uh, order a taxi. We'll do one more mission, and then I think I'll call it quits for today. Forever. I'm gonna quit Elite permanently. Uh, okay. We will go to Matsumoto Chemical Holdings. That was the original destination before we uh, played with uh, changing it in Super Cruise, which is a cool feature. Above all, survive. Yeah, I really do like these facilities. I think it is like, this is one of my favorite um, design types. And I like the sort of like landing pads in the middle and then you have your power facility all the way down there. So there's this really cool uh, runway, which would feel very cool to go by in an SRV. Or go down. Uh, it has been there since day one. Once landed, always ends up in disembark. If they walk in the room, sometimes they come close enough to the door so it opens up. Oh, that's true. I know, this is way too easy. I feel like I should quit because this is not challenging me enough. Get my cabbies coming over here. <clears throat> also, like, the levels and the height of this sort of facility, like, the landing pads are kind of lower. I just, like, I'm really happy with how the facilities are designed. I just want more variety in them. Let me try something. I just shot the, the car next and then just like tried to jump in before the bullet hit. And now that base is gonna go crazy trying to figure out what the hell just happened. I didn't even get a fine for that though, that's nice. I didn't get like a no fire zone sort of thing because on foot there is technically no, no fire zones. Just, you know, if they do catch a shooting then you're dead. So we have to head to this system and steal a suit schematic. So hopefully this time it'll actually be there. But this one is, yeah, this one's weird because literally um, steal one suit schematic and he will give you three. Doesn't feel like the mission makes sense, but I'm not gonna question that. I'm happy to take those three suit schematics off their hands. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people quitting Elite uh, lately, and I just, you know, I do think in my head, I'm like, eh, he'll be back. It's a little dramatic, I think, 
you know, I get it, we're disappointed with aspects of the game, but how many other games do people quit and then, like, make, like, YouTube videos about or go on a forum and rant about? Like, there's so many games that I've played and just don't play anymore and never felt the need to uh, announce it, right? And I think that's actually a testament to how much people love this game. That when they feel like they don't want to play it anymore, it's a big deal to them and, you know, to everyone else, right? So I think that, you know, in essence, like, when I see all these, like, quit culture stuff... Oh, did my stream stop? Uh, it seems to be going. Yeah, it seems to be okay. I don't know. Am I still streaming? Hello? <laughs> but anyway, the whole quit culture thing, you know, it's like... I think it is just like a testament to how much people do love the game. Uh, just how much dedication there is and how important it is to people. Um, and that's kind of like, you know, that's the positive side of it. Obviously, people quitting is not positive, but, you know, I think I think it's, it's, it's about people wanting to just show people how much they love the game and how disappointed they were with Odyssey. And I do hope that Frontier is really taking that to heart. I hope that they really are thinking about, like, how are we developing this moving forward, right? Because they can recover. I mean, look at No Man's Sky. That was the biggest colossal failure. That was the biggest launch that just, like, shat the bed, right? It was, like, literally, you got in the bed, you didn't even close your eyes before you shit the bed. But then you took the shit, you take off the sheets, put them in the washing machine, you put good sheets on, and then over time you were you were now in a in a lovely bed that has no shit in it. Doesn't mean they can't shit the bed again. And not, not saying that you shouldn't shit the bed from time to time. But yeah, I feel like Frontier really shit the bed with Odyssey. Pissed off a lot of people. I've seen the, all the videos, all the commanders, you know, I think Dig That was one of the first ones to go to Star Citizen. Elite Week is like we're changing our name to some random shit. We're not gonna talk about Elite anymore because they were pissed off with it anyway. And there was just like this big sort of cycle of people that were just quitting, right? And I get it, right? It's 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 like it's that emotional reaction. And again, that's a testament to how deeply involved and how much people love the game. So that's cool. I just hope that again, when they fix themselves, when they add stuff back, that people can get a reason to get excited to come back again, right? You won't be quitting, Commander Scorpius. It's no bandwagon jumping for you. Uh, you've seen the work I've done and put in the game since Odyssey dropped, and there's no sign of them stopping. I agree. I, I, I think they have done a good job, at least in damage control and, and sort of bringing new features in. You're playing No Man's Sky right now. It's awesome. Again, a, a game that completely came out and was completely panned and recovered. And Elite was great before Odyssey, and Odyssey was maybe a misstep, pun intended, but it'll get there, right? And it's like, but like, yeah, I, I get it. It's like no other game in the history of games do people freak out and say, oh, I'm leaving it. Maybe, you know, Fallout 76, everyone was pissed off for five minutes. And, you know, now some people actually say they enjoy it. Now, with that game, I don't even care to play it. Because <laughs> I'm an old school Fallout fan. But, um, hey, that's, you know, it's great that people are getting enjoyment out of it, right? It's just, it, it, to me, it's like, yeah, like, all the all the, all the quitting and moving to Star Citizen and moving to No Man's Sky, like, those are just different games. Like, you don't, like, say, like, I, oh, that's it, I quit hockey, I'm going to go play soccer, right? It's a different game. Um, you can't really, like, you can compare them, and obviously people do, and, you know, there's, there's similarities between No Man's Sky and Star Citizen and Elite, but it's not the same experience. It really isn't. And I'm like, I want all three of them, and I want them all to do well, and I will never quit playing any of them. I haven't played No Man's Sky in months, I haven't played Star Citizen in many months, but I don't consider myself having quit them, I'm just not playing them at the moment, right? So, yeah, the Elite Hate is a big part of why you dropped out of Elite Week. Yeah, they were getting a little bit, like, salty with, like, just constantly shitting on it, right? And it's like, I get it, I agree with you, but, like, I don't want to just hear... You know, constant, constant streams of, of anger. <laughs> uh, I want to hear people get excited about stuff, right? Excited about quitting. I'm excited to be quitting. I've quit now five times uh, in this stream. I'll be quitting again at the end of the stream, and I'm I'm happy to do so. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And by the way, look at how cool this planet is. We've got like some blue green mountains over there. That is pretty interesting looking terrain. Pretty funky. You also play Star System. It's awesome. 
Yeah, well, you're not married to any of those games. Well, I would say I am like a polygamous Mormon, and I'm married to all of those games. And, uh, you know, I visit each wife when uh, when I have the, the feeling for it. And I respect them, and uh, they respect me. And uh, we have a good time. You're pissed yeah. off of life every evening. I'm still here each morning. Well, that's it, right? I mean, life, life is just a, a series of, uh, you know... Uh, struggles and, and disappointments and, and overcoming them, right? And why can't a video game be like that as well? I think we're, we're living in this new era where, like, video games are being developed while we play them, right? And if you think back to it, that was not a thing when games first came out, you know? The games are a lot shittier, but you played them and you understood them to be done. Like, that was the game. And now we're in this new era where a game comes out and then it's updated and... Some of them, that's part of their model. Some of them, it's damage control. Some of them, it's like paid. Some of it is, uh, you know, free updates that just come out and delight people, right? But uh, the, side, the side effect of that is a lot of games come out and they're not complete on launch or they're not in a finished state. And that's like a very different experience, right? That's why I'm not playing Star Citizen. Even though I, I love the scale and the ambition of that game, I don't want to play it yet because I don't want to... I want to wait until it's a little more polished before I get that experience, the immersion, right? Yeah, you could be playing it now, you're learning all the mechanics, you're, you're knowing what to do. By the time the game comes out and it's proper, you don't have that, that wow. I mean, the first time I landed on, um, I can't remember what it was called, like, it was like some underground mining base or something with like seedy dark alleys, lore terminal or something like that. I was amazed. I'm like, this location's amazing. And... You know, you do that a few times when it's still an alpha, and then when the game is actually finished and really ready for you to sink your teeth into it, you don't have that same wow factor. And for me, like, I, I need that wow factor um, to get me sort of immersed, right? To start the initial immersion. Like, when I first played Elite, that was the, you know, wow, this galaxy is big. Wow, these systems look cool. Wow, these ships are awesome. And, you know, that's what got me invested into it. And I swear to God, I heard an alarm. Why do I hear an alarm? How are the alarms already on? It says, do not trigger the alarm, but I see red flashing lights. Did you guys trigger the alarms? <laughs> you did, didn't you? That's awesome. But so for some reason, it's not... Uh, I haven't failed a mission, so that's good. I am looking for a research locker two in the industrial production building. Oh, damn it. It's all restricted. Okay, well, whatever. And they started shooting you. Well, what did you do though? That's they can't. They, they don't just start shooting you for a reason. Either you were wanted, or you killed them, or maybe you insulted their sister. Okay, he's red. Red is bad. I'm just gonna walk this way. I mean, who walks like that? Like, you're being all tactical. You're literally standing in like the middle of the open field. Okay. Now yeah, he's cool. It's like, whatever. Um, this is weird. See, so yeah, if you guys weren't here in the first bit of the stream, it's like, uh, there was literally so many missions that were glitched out, we couldn't complete them because they were, like, broken. Which is not fun. Um, not sure if I like this model, same reason or not. So yeah, yeah, I'm not sure it's the model that I prefer, because it kind of does... You kind of lose the, you know, that sense of, like, when you come into a completed world and a completed game, you're able to explore everything. Like, you have to have this sense of, like, I'm going to lose out on that experience completely, but I will get to get things earlier and see them evolve, right? And I think it works really well for some games. I think there are some games that watching them evolve and change. I remember RimWorld was a great example. I started playing that in Alpha. And every time there's something new added, it was like, oh, this this is a layer on top of everything that we have. Other games like Star Citizen, where I'm like, you know, by the time it has like five or six systems, you know, the people that are playing now will have played through that first system to the point where, the, you know, it's like that system won't be worth visiting anymore, right? I mean, like, probably not for everyone. I'm making some wild assumptions here, but... 
that's kind of and you know look, I, think, I think everyone's everyone's different right and, and if you can enjoy it then absolutely enjoy it right uh I, so you don't want to find yourself at launch having seen everything there is to see yeah i mean that's that's kind of it right where i'm just like i want my actions to be meaningful i want to be in a place where um you know everything that i'm doing has an impact on my account i don't want to have it like oh yeah it's like I'm playing a perpetual alpha, my con my actions have no consequences, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you've got no rank, but maybe... Can you open those doors? Are you going to be mad at me, by the way? Stay still, all right. You can scan me. He's red, but he doesn't care. Okay, interesting, interesting. Interesting. Arson, that's your biggest issue when Star Citizen releases 1.0. People will complain there's nothing new in the game. Yeah, I mean, some people will, but... That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna wait a bit on it, and... You know, when I get the sense that it's, like, uh... A, a more fully realized... Uh, and more permanent thing, then I'll jump in for sure. Like, I'm definitely, like, every time I've loaded up Star Citizen, I get excited, because I'm like, wow, this looks so cool. But, you know, I want to I wanna be able to do stuff. So yeah, I don't know, like, I need access. I need level one access. I need, okay, who has access? You there. Ooh, level three, okay. Don't mind if I steal your identity. Go back to what you were doing. I'm not here. I'm not here. Okay. Right there. Gotcha. I do love these look. Even like the combat suit does not have the greatest jetpack, but. In low G, it doesn't really make a difference. Wee, 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 wee. Lovely. Okay, so now we need to find Research Locker 2. One, two, one and three. I mean, there is a locker named Two there. Oh, hi. Uh, hello, ma'am. Okay, that was a bit delayed, but mission accomplished. So is this the one? Research locker two. Potentially. Ooh, jugs! Love me some jugs. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna find a computer. There should be one up these stairs and around the corner. And now that I have level three access, I will be able to pinpoint. Uh, sorry, uh, where am I here? Industrial production research locker two. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was not in the place where I was. It's over in the other room, which means I might have to kill other people. Is this restricted? Can I be here? Amazing how you... Oh, oh, it was in that room. Okay, so it was that locker. Okay. Uh, what is the keypad? It is 3209. I actually really like the keypad system that they put in here. It's just schematic. Wonderful. And do not trigger the alarm. Can't trigger what's already triggered. I wonder if I do, like, go shoot someone, would that re-trigger it? Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, let's not press our lock. Oh, hold on. I love these data ports. Manufacturing instructions. I do want those. I'm going to take it all.
again, if the alarm is already off, is that gonna... Are people gonna be aware that I'm downloading data? Is he gonna come down here investigating, or is he gonna stay up there being Over a... Here. I found them. Okay, I didn't want to have to do this, but... Alright, we'll murder everyone. This is, this is... You brought this on yourselves! I was gonna go out of here without murdering anyone, but you started shooting me! Okay, do I have the data? Oh yeah, I got it, I got it. Oh shit, I did fail the... Oh no! They put the alarm, the double alarm! Okay, so apparently that does solve that for us. Question. That was such a dramatic death. Okay, so we did fail the mission. That's fine. It's fine. I mean, one man's failure is another man's success, right? Oh, hi. Uh, running back. How did you? How do you have full health? Hello, hello. Oh, med pack, med pack. Well, there's quite a lot of you there. Oh no! It bounced back. Okay, that was dumb. We'll just let them run in like one by one like Batman villains, right? Okay, running up here, running up here. Do not die, do not die. We'll run through the hallways. Oh shit. Why won't this door open? I have the access! Oh no, I'm trapped. Trapped in the hallway. Okay, I have a shield projector. Wait, you just... I swear, these doors are busted. Okay, we want to live through this one because we're carrying a lot of lovely materials that I do not want to lose. We'll run. The typical strategy. This is literally my, my, my on-foot Odyssey gameplay is... Shoot a bunch of people, alarms go off, run for the hills. <laughs> Which you have to do because you cannot order a taxi to a base that is uh, mad at you. Okay, well, I failed the mission, so that sucks because I won't get all those other suit schematics. But I mean, do I get to keep the suit schematic that I do have that I stole? I assume so. So at least I got one out of it. That's nice. What's that? Is that one of you guys? Is that you, Minari? Is that Kyle? Flying away in your python? With the uh, shield boosters? Here, what, you can come pick me up. Let me come on your ship. Fly me back to Jameson. I do like the, uh, the rock scattering. For some reason, I don't know... Because uh, I haven't played a couple weeks, but maybe it's this planet or whatever, but this looks like the right amount of rocks. Like, it's like, not so many that if you're going around in an SRV, you're just going to be like, tripping, tripping balls. Tripping over those rocks, those boulders. But there is enough to make a nice little, uh, nice little look. Come pick me up. Oh, shoot. Someone's shooting at you. Oh, it's just the base. Let me in! Let me in! Dark Aviate is left a shared mission. Well, don't worry, it was already failed. <laughs> okay, don't crush me. Python, you enter from the front. Why can't I? Where's my enter circle? Um, am I not allowed to enter you? What's going on? 
Um, oh, I'm still on the landing gear. Um, ah! <laughs> okay, well, all's well, then's well. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I had a lot of fun. I don't want to quit anymore. But I still will. Because you have to. You can't leave the game on forever. <laughs> Defeated by Commander Venari. <laughs> Friendly fire. I mean, technically, I was just chilling on your uh, landing gear. <laughs> well, as usual, uh, we usually tend to end the stream in prison. As you do. Not that I'm like, I'm not a criminal by design. It just happens to be there. Oh! I guess the other guy's shift is over, so now you're here. What's wrong with your eyes? Oh my god! She's the dragon lady. Her eyes just... Do you see that? Her eyes just lit up? Like a demon? Hey, where'd the other guy go? Am I on a different prison ship? No, Champion of Piety. Okay, so I guess the shift is over. Yeah, what's up with that? She did it again. Well, let me go to camera mode. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing. If you don't do the thing, I'm gonna quit. I swear to God, I'm gonna quit. Do the thing. Maybe you have to be standing this way. Do the thing. Do the thing. Well, she's not gonna do the thing. But that's okay. That's fine. We had a good time. Uh, you know, I only quit five times, so I'll have to quit at the end of this stream, so that'll be six. So how many times can you quit? You can quit at least, like, at least six times in, in, in like a three hour period. Probably more, but uh, I think we did, we did pretty good today on, in terms of the quitting. Um, join us next week when we will be uh, continuing our saga of quitting Elite Dingus. Uh, eventually, one day, far in the future, we will have quit, but the process begins right now, right? Until uh, something patches for Odyssey and then you get back into the thing where I will never quit playing this game, I'll play it till the end of time. But uh, thank you guys for joining, uh, 07 everyone. We will uh, cut the stream off at this point. Thank you for joining me, and I, I wish you all the best of luck in your journey of quitting Elite Dangus as well. Um, I do stream around Saturday afternoons. Eastern Standard Time usually start between like 1 to 2 p.m., so I don't know, for you Brits, that's whatever that is, plus 5, so what would that be, like 6 to 7-ish? But um, thank you guys for joining, and, and oh yeah, and then if you're in other parts of the world, you'll just have to do math. I'm, I'm sorry, I... I don't have all the time zones memorized. But, um, yeah, you guys have a great rest of the weekend. Uh, 07. <laughs>